Put your children to bed. Kids don't need to hear what's about to happen. Hot crack has returned. <laughs> HBK, the lady lover, the king of pleasure. It's the most hated Ock baby. Oh, oh, please say the baby. You tuned in to Pie Crack. 8 Bit Paul, aka Five the Fresh. Pie Crack in this bitch. Yo, it's your boy Matt. The Mad Titan. We the birds with attitude. And this is the party, dude. Barely. Anybody else I talk to about this shit, they don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. And that's why Pie Crack must exist. Pie Crack. Real raw and unmotherfucking cut. Mm. Welcome to Pie Crack. It's your boy. The nigga with the silky voice known to make the bitches moist. It is heartbreak. And uh, as I look around the room, I see the Legion of Doom. It's it's uh, my friends, your friends. You'd like them. It is uh, none other than my brother, Ock Baby. Ock Baby, please say if the MCU version of... Uh, the X-Men takes place in modern day, right? Isn't it a little too late for uh, Magneto to uh, to have been experienced the Holocaust? He would be 100 years old. Shouldn't they be black people? Shouldn't we bring John Carlo Esposito in? I've been saying this for years. It didn't make any sense for him to be in the Holocaust. When he, <laughs> I mean, fucking Captain America for World War II, and that nigga old as shit. He had to get frozen in ice to be believable to be doing the shit that he's doing. But somehow Magneto's still running around giving niggas speeches about how he said never again 16 times. Man. It's the magnets, my nigga. They keep his face up, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? They keep Maybe up. that's what it is. The same shit that allows him to fuck Rogue is the same shit that allows him <laughs> to be a young man. Yeah, my nigga. Come on, man. Come on, nigga. That, that damn electromagnetic field, my nigga, is like Viagra, my nigga. You, feel? you ain't know that's the secret ingredient. They Don't tell Hollywood. Them hey, niggas hey, gonna be taking that little weight hey, loss blood, pill. Blood has iron in it, bro. Blood has iron in it, dog. Blood got iron in it. They gonna, and, mix, and, they gonna mix the magnets with the Ozempic? That's what yep, you're telling me? They gonna do all that shit. Start getting electroshock therapy and shit. Nigga. Nah, this how you, that's how you keep the wrinkles away. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, but fuck that. I got a question for you, nigga. You huh? You? Role reversal, nigga. Whoa. Role reversal, nigga. Whoa. Please say... If making Griselda Blanco Blanca uh Sofia Virago <laughs> is that just as bad as race swapping uh comic book characters, nigga? Oh no, 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 you are somebody fine, nigga. You are charlatan, huh? my nigga. You are charlatan, and let me tell you why, right? Because you I heard you before, huh? I heard you before say that they get they hiring too many ugly bitches in Hollywood. Oh, oh, no, no, get no, the podcast no, canceled. No. Listen, hey, listen, listen. Podcast the gun, huh? She about to be canceled. Cancel. Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun, huh? No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Huh? I can explain myself. Yeah. First of all, the first thing I want to say is, Fat bitches need to set up, nigga. That's first of all. Oh, my <laughs> man. Let me, let me start off this, let me start off this speech oh, with hey. the truth, nigga. I huh? see the truth bombs. Say, huh? <laughs> Damn. Yo, yo, we definitely demonetized and fucking YouTube by the shit. Nigga, we was never monetized. Nigga, take the D off that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, uh, how you we never to get close to monetization. Days, <laughs> <laughs> you can have hard takes, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, listen. Oh. They are uh, they are hiring ugly bitches for yeah. pretty bitch roles. Like, yeah. can you name some for example? Well, I thought you never asked, Chris. Oh man! All right. uh, motherfucking Lois Lane okay. shouldn't be ugly as shit. I mean, you know, it's super bad. They going to go back in time for no plain bitch. You know what I'm saying? He's I ain't reversing the Earth's pole. Hold on, hey, hey, let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> okay. Let, Fucking let uh, cook. Mary Jane Watson. That yeah. bitch been ugly since uh, you know what I'm saying? The first Spider Man, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mary J supposed to be fire, fire. nigga. Supposed yeah, to be fire. fire. Redhead fire, bro. Yeah. Fire, nigga. All right. Yeah. Don't, look, don't get me started on the fucking new Ninja Turtles, April Neil. Oh, Come on, they like the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, they, they got her like looking rugged. They got her looking rugged, bro. For what though? Why would you? Why would you think that's necessary to have some ugly bitch? It's, it don't make no sense, man. It don't. It don't. All right. Yeah. And if at verse if you want me to suspend my belief. Mm -hmm. That the wars are being created, yeah, 
You know what I'm saying? You got I got the biscuit at least got to be you know what I mean something to look at you know what I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and, hey, so and, and, right so, and I'm not a hypocrite. I'm actually keeping it real because uh-huh. Griselda Blanca, right? She yeah. was so powerful. She was 45 and ugly or 55 <laughs> and ugly, and made some young black nigga be her boyfriend. And the nigga did it. He was fucking that. <laughs> That's how powerful she was. Motherfucking uh, the bitch from. Moderate family, she don't gotta use power to get nobody. I fuck that bitch right now for well, nothing. Hold on, nigga. Hold on. This might not even like, imagine. This is not on topic. But my nigga, that bitch was so ugly. All right, how ugly was she? My nigga, <laughs> this, nigga this, this bitch had the fucking jail on lock. My nigga, she was running the jail, and this nigga still was telling her, "No, nah, we can't fuck because somebody coming." Damn. <laughs> She was like, no, I got it set up. That nigga said, I might only fuck her twice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that nigga was keeping it real, dude. Nigga had to go in blindfolded, ears covered, dude. <laughs> nigga had a playboy in the car with him. Nigga. They was like, you can't bring that in contraband. He's like, nigga, I need this. Nigga. <laughs> that nigga, nigga was the bribing magazine. them. Had the for... magazine on her back, nigga. Like, mm, yeah, all right. now. <laughs> Hold on, just give me a minute. <laughs> nah, give nah, nah. Just give me, give me a minute. Nigga was slapping his thigh and shit, trying to get his shit to wake up, nigga. <laughs> shit. Nah, nigga, nah. So Fuck you that, said nigga. her beauty is doing a disservice to the story of Griselda Blanco. That's what exactly, you're nigga. Exactly. Got, got when they it. made the movie Monster, what did they do? They made that bitch ugly. They right? made Shalice Theron ugly. Got her an Oscar. Got a motherfucking they, Oscar. They nigga. put uh, they put a nose on Sofia Vergara though. Talk that shit, nigga. <laughs> they put a nose on her, my nigga. Talk that <laughs> shit, nigga. All right, and yeah, that's what man. I expect. They make what the men, what the men do it. The men get fat and gross and lose weight and get skinny. They do all types of shit, nigga. Like what, what, what happened with dress. Fifty Cent? There, put Fifty Cent. All that, all that. All that. So, so 50 Cent done fucked up his whole immune system for a role, nigga. <laughs> for a straight to DVD movie. You know what I mean? <laughs> Selma Hyatt got... put a mustache on, nigga. You know what I'm saying, too? And let both her uh, eyebrows connect. Yeah. Damn. Hey, my nigga. Hey, talk with talk your shit, brother. If you ask talk me, it's racism. Shit, they they need to let motherfucking the bitch from uh, Modern Family get yeah, her eyebrows? Oscar, nigga. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey. Hey, hey, when you, hey, when you, when you, when you, when you tell them the truth, I ain't gonna stop you, brother. Hey. That's where we well, at in the world, man. And, and the point, at. that point I'm coming to is bring rogue ass back. That's all I'm saying. That's, hey, that's that. the They're point do that, that we get to. That's the point that we get to. If we can't, if we don't start there, we ain't gonna finish there. You know what I'm saying? Just bring the cheeks <laughs> back. Just bring the cheeks back. But that nigga, uh, Magneto said he don't care either way. You know what I'm saying? He's he still clapping. Gonna, he gonna make it think. What if I'm not mistaken? If I'm not mistaken, I mean, uh, didn't Magneto smash her and her mom? Oh, is it uh, is it uh, oh, yeah, you're talking, they get a family discount, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. two for one, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, two for one. Okay. That's a regular day for Magneto. Man. A bogo, a bogo as told yeah. Mystique. I'm just Chris saying, I mean. morphed a rogue and then told Rogue to steal her powers and morphed to Mystique. Yeah, mm. that's, that's a three for one. That nigga ain't playing. <laughs> Listen, come on now, huh? come on now. Huh? All right, so uh, as I continue around the room, as I continue around the room, I see, uh, I see the man, the myth, the legend, M A. Two T's. It's Matt. Hey, Matt. Tell me, does King Kong deserve to be in the title of Godzilla and King Kong? Hell no. Hell no. (laughs) (laughs) After after the ass whooping he got last time, he's lost his rights. Am I? Am I not? Am I I off? Yeah. Like yeah. If if he did better, maybe it would have been like a Batman or Robin thing, or his name would be underneath it. But at this point, nah. It's just remove him. He he should still be in the movie as like uh, King. I'm sorry, Godzilla's like Ward, but remove him <laughs> as, a, as featuring the hand servant, uh, fucking King Kong. Yes, that should be the. <laughs> hey man, listen, I can't fault he you. He carried this nigga. He carried this nigga Godzilla bags and shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm only there to tell the audience like uh, how impossible the feat is Godzilla is gonna do. <laughs> You're going to drill all the way to the center of the earth? That's crazy. It's impossible. He's doing it. <laughs> What's your side bidding, master? <laughs> oh, shit. You know, listen, this is a momentous occasion, right? This is for a momentous occasion. And for a momentous occasion, you got to get the band together. You got to go back to your blood. And so uh, I'd like to... Uh, to introduce to the pie crack yet again, uh, friend of the show, Tony Stark. I Chris, what up, though? I appreciate the invite, guys. You know, I've um, I've been waiting for this moment for I think five years since last Invincible came out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you guys, you been waiting for this since 1997. <laughs> waiting by your, waiting by your phone. I was, I was waiting. No, I had a special red phone. Uh huh. By my, um, by my uh, decor, uh, it it is sealed, and and once it rings, I know I've been called for a pod crack. Mm. Don't tell me it's the red phone from uh, from Batman. Batman. Oh, it is. Yeah, you, okay. It is. The head of it the is. It is when I when I opened it, it said "bam." You understand me? Okay. Wow. <laughs> it yeah. said "kapow." When yeah. I opened that motherfucker. Yeah. Just know I'm here. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a pleasure to have you back, brother. And uh, speaking of brothers, the uh, the racer X to my speed racer. All right. The man that I I got my whole style from, and if he ever sues me for gimmick infringement, uh. Well, I'll, I'll have to pay up. It's none other than my brother, Grey Goose. What up, though? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, basically, I just want to say I appreciate y'all for sending a brother an invite. And um, I'm just trying to survive in the world not to get canceled. Mm, Thank y'all I for coming you. out, and God bless. <laughs> uh, and usually I don't ask the guests questions, but y'all, y'all some really all right brothers, you know what I'm saying? And so I'll, I'm going to lay this one on y'all. I'm going to lay this one on y'all uh, before we get underway. Bigger disappointment. Conan the Destroyer or Mortal Kombat 2? Mortal Kombat 2. Yeah. Definitely Mortal Kombat. I always think that's the conversation to have. Talking about the movie, right? <laughs> the movie, yes. Yeah, it has to oh, be yeah. the movie. It was called it's Annihilation. He's Annihilation. Yeah. Annihilation. Yeah. Annihilation. Yeah. Annihilation yeah. Yeah. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. It's tough uh, to Tell Mortal Kombat. Junior, how it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga said Mortal Kombat 2. <laughs> nigga, you talking about the game or what? What are you talking about? Nigga? <laughs> Hold on, let me go to my cabinet real quick. Let me <laughs> talk about when they introduced Baraka, nigga. The fuck you say? Hold on, now, brother. Right, that was a that was a convincing rubber mask. All right, you know what I mean? Oh man. And uh, when he killed one, another one came out, and they never explained that other one. You know what I'm saying? So you know, um. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, but hold on now. There's a case that can be made for Conan the Destroyer being a disappointment as well. Like, y'all just ain't going to sweep that under the rug. Well, I mean, uh, but you said bigger. Yes. Yeah. And Mortal Kombat 2 or Mortal Kombat Annihilation was a huge disappointment because everybody went to go see it was the kids that was going to the movie. I mean, to the uh, store, you know, playing arcade. Yeah. You know, and then they, of course, you didn't have, like, the internet and all that shit like you do now. So when they showed that trailer, nigga, they showed Shiva. They showed yeah. the best of the best. Yeah. You know they what I'm saying? Air, air Rain, Ermac, yeah, everything, man. man. Everybody was in there. Everybody. They even had, they, they mentioned Striker. They, I, I think they mentioned Striker. They said they killed they Nightwolf. They captured, they they captured uh, Cabal and Striker. They said they were yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so but that was a big that was a, and then Baraka. Now I I was I'm a Baraka fiend. Like that was my dude, and it it looked like a kid with a big ass head. <laughs> Damn, bro. It, that nigga was four feet tall, man. It yeah, was, with fake knives coming out of his hands. It was a yeah. Terrible. Now Conan was disappointing, but the bigger <laughs> disappointment got to be Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Mm. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna be honest, like Conan was. What t- ten years before I was watching movies frequently, so like you know what I, mean? <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. What? I was like, whatever. Nigga, you go from a rated R Conan the Barbarian was rated R. Nigga, swords and slashing, cutting niggas' heads off and shit. And then you go from a rated R movie, and they say, "Hey, kids are watching," and they make the second one PG. 
listen, and this this is why it's a bigger disappointment. Back then, they didn't even have part two or shit. Like, they didn't even know you could make sequels and shit. Like, <laughs> all right, so they didn't know what the fuck to do. They was like, "Do we want the same shit again? Or what, what do we should we do?" Well, add Grace Jones. She's fucking hot right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. But by the time fucking Mortal Kombat came out, like nigga, all you had to do was the same shit you did the first time. They could just do it better this time. Just do it. They, they tried. Just, they, they, I think they wanted to do it bigger. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They still yeah, they did it bigger. Bigger disappointment. They yeah, exactly. They did. exactly yeah. They and so, to, like, they tried to cram too much into the movie, too. Because Mortal they, Kombat got like 100 characters. Yeah. They yeah, tried to put them all in one of the ball. problems. And that's but them hiring us, porn stars and actors, is another big problem. <laughs> <I think. laughs> so. <laughs> Hey, listen, those actors in part two sucked. Oh my god. Oh my god. Everybody didn't sucked. they switch Sonya Blade too? They switched, they switched Sonya yeah. Blade. They killed Johnny Cage at the opening credits. Yep. They, they switched fucking, the they, they switched, switched the tracks. they switched um then they gave fucking non-acting sub-zero talking lines. Oh my Raiden, god. Raiden, Raiden was 27 years old. <laughs> I didn't even notice they switched Raiden, my nigga. I, I didn't notice Raiden. that shit till I got older. They, they gave him a fucking Philly fade. They did. Yeah. They, they did. Yeah. When he came back from talking to the uh the mortals, the, the elder guys. Yeah, the elder guys, yeah, the elder guys he went to go talk to the other guys. He said, I, I came back with this boosy fade, dog. Yeah, <laughs> <nigga. laughs> he, he went to talk to the elder guys as as uh the nigga from um <laughs> was that shit called Highlander? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah the nigga yeah, came yeah. back. The nigga came back as a biker from motherfucking uh, Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? That yeah, that fade, nigga said I came back with this fade. Y'all niggas ain't rapping the same. <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't hey, throw a, he didn't even throw a lightning bolt when he came back. He did not throw a lightning bolt when he came no, back. The only and... thing he did he shittily open a portal, bro. Shittily. And but I but see I don't know. Here's the thing, and I'll say this. I feel like they set him up, though. They I set know. him up because at the end of that first one, when the nigga popped out of the fucking castle and he was 100 feet tall, where are you supposed to go from that? Like, if they start the second one right where they end the first one, that nigga was 100 feet tall, said, you foolish mortals, I have come for your souls. My nigga, he's not going to be a 100-foot-tall uh, apparition. Like, so... Yeah, they it was going what they gave us sucked, but they didn't give us a lot of room to go. I mean, they they could have followed the story of Mortal Kombat too. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but gentlemen, gentlemen, what we came here to talk about today, you know what I'm saying? That was the '90s, right? That was the '90s, and what a uh, time to be alive! What a time to be alive! And uh, back when uh, back when niggas was out at Freak Nick. I was on the floor of my mama's house watching this shit. Uh, we are here to talk about mm -hmm, X-Men. Bars. bars, nigga. We're here to talk about X-Men 97. Well, gentlemen, we had a riveting conversation a couple years ago by the uh, yeah. by fucking podcast, pod crack magic that uh, we released last week talking about, you know, waxing poetic about the history, about the original run of X-Men, the animated series from 92 to 96. Uh, Y'all made, made that podcast uh, a year ago? Two years ago. Uh, July years ago. 27th, 2022. All of y'all might want to go play lottery numbers. Uh, <laughs> <maybe. laughs> <laughs> Don't even do lottery. Do the Mega Millions. Y'all was on point <laughs> to be two years ago. Well, thank you. Thank you, mm -hmm. sir. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you know, listen. I, I'm I didn't want this just to be us waxing poetic again. This is why I brought in the, some friends of the show. Um, gentlemen, they've released the first two episodes of X-Men 97. Ak, what do we think? I like how you tried to make me go first to set me up, nigga. I know you tricked That's right. That's right. Fuck that. I'm going to say it with my chest, nigga. I had my fucking... You heard the fucking episode, nigga. I thought it was going to be trash. It ain't my fault. Yeah. That Marvel sucked for four years straight. So I thought everything they were going to was going to suck for everything. You know what I'm saying? So I was planning on the disappointment. Yeah. Much, cook. much to my surprise. Cook. Yeah. Much to, much to my surprise. Yeah. Man. I enjoyed that shit, man. 
It was good, wasn't it? <laughs> it was fucking good, wasn't it? Uh, hey, I liked it. You know what I mean? It took... Okay, this is what I'll say. Okay. They made it... All they did was take the same shit, yeah. prove upon it in yes. certain ways, but they left some of the, the foibles and the shit that, you know what I mean, you probably... If, if you had to think of flaws from the old show, they even took the flaws yeah. and just kind of like put some spice on the flaws too. That whoever the nigga who the gay nigga that made the show, the gay nigga, he, our gay only fans nigga that made the show, bring him back, bring hey, him back, nigga, bring him back, Listen, bring him back. We in gay Hollywood uh, revolution, nigga. Y'all been gay forever, <laughs> but somehow y'all even gayer now. And shit, nigga. Let that nigga frolic, my nigga. Bring him back. Listen, you know what I'm saying? I'm, Disney I'm, made this this mistake before. They let they gave a nigga a whole head of. Fucking superhero music and shit now. Like. <laughs> he ain't have a seat on his bicycle. <laughs> the Guardians of the Galaxy. They just let that nigga go for some old jokes, nigga. All right. You, know what I'm saying? you, you know gonna what let mean? this? You gonna let this gay black man that absolutely loves the fucking source material go, my nigga? Just let that nigga stay, my nigga. Listen. That nigga caught everything. I mean, I got some critiques, but yeah, we we'll get to it. I just want the overview right now. It was Man. like I it was like I was a kid again, my nigga. It, it 36 was. year old. Like it was piggybacking on kind of like what I'm saying, like even the opening, right? Oh, hey, brother, it's Ramadan. We don't do no piggybacking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Four choice of words. <laughs> nah, it's Chris. Stand by that bacon, nigga. Eat hey. your bacon. Hey. Eat hey. your hey. bacon, Chris. Hey. Hey. Nigga, they're cooking bacon with no shirt on. Hey. Yeah, hey. let that. Let that grease pop on your chest. Ben Rain type shit. Ben Rain. Yeah. Ben Rain type shit. Yeah. Don't let us scare you, nigga. Hey, look. Uh, run to your mama. They, <laughs> they, uh, baby boy. They Tell listen. The three guns and butter, nigga. <laughs> These red men don't start, boy. <laughs> don't fucking start. Jody. <laughs> look. But I, I made a point, bro. He really pretty much covered everything. Like, even the opening. I really wasn't sure what to expect, but, bro, it's literally the same animation. It's just HD. Literally. It's literally mm. the same animation style. Now, I know what you're thinking. Even though, um, um, even, even though, uh, what's shorty with the fireworks? Well, I can't think of her name right now. Jubilee. Jubilee. Jubilee looks more Asian than normal. Like, every, <laughs> everything else. <laughs> everything the normal state and made her look Asian as well. Oh, my God. I mean, she was supposed to be Asian in the first show. Mm. Yeah, they wrong. fucked up, man. You yeah, weren't supposed it, to know that. So. Right. <laughs> that was forever it. supposed to be a tidbit in the comments. Like, you know yeah, 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 right. yeah, there's a reason for that, too. They had her really looking like it. And, and I know the animation style is coming, but even the shading in particular. And if you watch, like, the intro where we see, like, the, the locks kind of, like, in the shadows type shit. In the beginning by the bar where we kind of see like we kind of see them in the shadows before they go back into the sewers like the shading of it is is similar to the 90s talk show. about that shade, the, man. The, the, the color the way they do the color cells on top of the buildings are literally like the show when they start walking in to where like the 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 the, the x-men kkk is there or whatever <laughs> like, the, like, the fuck out of here team nigga the, the fuck, fuck out of here, here right the old, yeah. them old eight, bro I looked at that shit. I said, did that shit say fuck out of here? Like, <laughs> That's how much time you change, nigga. Yeah. Soon as I see that, I say, oh shit, they the fuck out of here, nigga. Hey, they had a buddy sitting in that chair, and he was like, we can get you any amount of money. He said, you think this shit is about money? We money, you nigga, fuck out of here, here, nigga. Fuck out of here. You stinking me. Get, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Nigga, get out of here, man. <laughs> Yo, that um, bitch is like, Please, we just wanna we just try to live. He's like, you you think we can sleep up there, nigga? Normal humans can sleep with you fucking freaks down here, nigga. I was on her side for a second. I was like, damn, y'all niggas do be running around all crazy, nigga. <laughs> hey, y'all niggas, hey bro, I can't trust nobody to stay in the sewer for 20 years. <laughs> New, 20 not years, you 20? nor Daz Effects, nigga. I never trust neither one of y'all, nigga. Yo, Matt. <laughs> What's the what's the overall view, man? What you what's it's a yay or it's a nay, man? Oh, it's a it's a yay. It's a hundred percent yay. Okay. Yeah, they, they took the best like from what we thought like the old school '90s X Men was, and they just gave it to us. They they fully leaned into it, man, and I loved it, man. Like I, I it's it's a hundred percent yay for me, man. 
Listen, listen. And and Mr. Goose, overall view. How you feel about it? I'm um yeah. So I'm not gonna lie, I had um very low expectations of going to this because I know Disney had a hand in it. And uh, you know, at first, like Chris was saying, he was saying the shaders, they call sprites, Chris, but I'm not, you know, I'll let you have that. Tell that but, um, called. <laughs> Uh, they use the they use the exact same sprites. I mean, it's the it's the same it's it's the same everything, right? My expectations was low, especially after I saw that um, Rogue had a a washboard ass and um <laughs> and um uh, morph how they changed him into a um non alien. I don't know what the fuck that nigga is. He he, he had changed me. He you know I, I I'm okay with that. That's the, that is his design from the comic. It right. is, but so they I, but they made yeah. them, but they made them, you know, non gender. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. when I read those two things, I was like, I I wasn't even gonna watch it to be honest with you. But I said I'm gonna give it a fair shake, and I'm glad I did, cause, um, damn, all right, yeah, the fuck out of here, team. But uh, Magneto, who did you say should play Magneto, Sean? Uh, they they want they want uh Denzel Washington for uh Professor X and. John Carlo Esposito. No, it's the other way around. I'm sorry. Uh, Denzel for Magneto, John Carlo Esposito for uh, Professor X. Well, Esposito should have played uh, uh, Magneto because that nigga was the smooth that lit nigga. They came in smooth on that in that little purple leotard, man. You know yeah, he was saying? smooth, just period, man. <laughs> he was smooth. Talking to Storm, you're the closest we'll get to a goddess. I said, this, this nigga smooth. So, that but is, anyway. That's the way he able to, uh, that's how he, all them fucking, if a nigga gets you to join a group called <laughs> Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Just right. playing on his face. Right. He didn't try right. to tell you no lies, you nigga. I ain't even, I ain't even <laughs> evil, but this motherfucker, he's, he's saying something. He's on the something. Yeah, yeah, I don't he even know what he's doing. I gotta follow this guy. He's on the something. He can lead me. <laughs> I ain't in there on the evil shit, but he's he knows something. Y'all hear how this motherfucker talk? <laughs> Listen, I'm I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I'm going to be honest with y'all, and then I'm going to bag back, and we just going to get into it. Listen, so I can't... Maybe it was the low expectations, because my shit, my expectations was in the fucking basement, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. It, I love how... Because I can't... Last week, I went back, and I watched the, the last few episodes of uh the original run and you know that by that time they had they had a new they had new artists they had new character designs um roll i mean not roll but jean gray ain't have the ponytail no more she had the hair all out fucking um uh jubilee ain't had the glasses no more fucking you know what i'm saying and then they actually killed quote unquote professor x in the last episode he really got lalandra came scooped him up said uh he ain't never gonna be back. Say goodbye. <laughs> he gonna be alive, but he ain't never gonna be back. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. And so I love how they everything that we thought was trill at the time they kept. They kept everything from the first couple seasons. They kept the fucking, you know what I'm saying? The character designs. They kept the, you know what I'm saying? Everything. All, the intro, because on the last couple episodes in the last season, the intro yeah, had changed. The intro. Hey, but but what what killed me is they kept the outro from the first couple episodes. That's when they set it off. That nigga, gay nigga know what he's doing. Shit, nigga. Uh, listen, that's when they shit, set man. it off right there. Nigga. Uh, they did that in the first couple episodes only. And when I was a kid, that was Yo. the greatest shit I ever seen in my life. With that, 3D, yes. when they were spinning that three D yeah, they spin and they yeah, click and, and they, like and they tell you a little screen, bit of blurb about them. Yeah. Oh, and when I saw God. that, the one thing that were one of the parts they missed the mark. Is that first episode should have came on and said previously on X Men? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm a, I'm a. I think they say it. They say it yeah. in the second. One. They say yeah. it in the second. One, I forgive them for that because nigga, yeah. this is twenty, this is twenty years. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it, you do want to bring in some some new viewers as well, but I I fucking feel it. Even the damn intro was hard. The fucking, yeah. you know, I I don't. The outro got me though. Yeah, the outro got me, and even though. Cause I did me a little research while I was looking at it, right? Cause I'm like, damn, okay, that's Storm, that's Wolverine. I know the guy who plays Scott passed away. 
uh, that ain't Rogue, though, and that ain't Gambit. And so I look them up, and these the people that was playing Rogue and Gambit, the lady that played the senator, that's the old Rogue. I guess she just got too old, which I'm cool with. Hey, move her on to something else. Bring somebody else in. So even they... Oh, it's the reason for that. I'll talk about it when we move on. Mm, okay, okay, okay. But Gambit, the, Gambit was still in there. Uh, Rogue was still in there. Storm uh, still in there? That storm, that's, like that's, the, that's the same storm. How about I say that sound like storm to me? Yeah, that's the same storm. Um, same. I don't. I, I forgot what beast, but still, man, they just they were very true and respectable to the original, and I, I appreciate that. So, gentlemen, Ock, let's take it away, man. What you got for me, brother? All right. Um. First of all, I mean, yeah, they stayed true. They shouldn't have fucked with the song. Like, keep the high hats the high hats, nigga. I was listening to the song. Keep the lows, lows, and the high hats the high hats. I was listening to the song, like, Eminem's there. Where's my snare, nigga? <laughs> my nigga, they added There's extra no people in, 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 in the it, intro, nigga. my nigga. Like, I'm like, nigga, you had, to add a, you had to add a couple extra bars to let Bishop live, man. Nah, nigga. Don't <laughs> fuck with, you. leave the synths where they are, nigga. That was part of the charm, nigga. <laughs> I don't know why they took the synths off the shit. I mean, it's the, basically the same song. I'm not that mad, oh, though. I just don't this, like being lied to. Say, the last season, once again, let me let me reflect on the last season. The song sucked. Like, <laughs> it sounds... I don't remember that, but I, I don't oh, think I is. even saw the last season. Yeah, the I was last looking season at, sucked. I was so, looking at the animation from the last season. I don't remember none of this shit. Yeah, the last season sucked. Everything about the last season sucked, and a lot of that they ignored. So a lot of that I'm, I'm willing to give them. It's a different studio that, that did the last season. Yeah. It was like, yeah, they outsourced to a Cambodian studio and they showed it. All, <laughs> they, they all showed that Cambodian it. studio. All that breast yeah. milk. All they got is breast milk in Cambodia. Nigga. Breast milk in poverty. Nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> we going to get canceled, boy. Yeah, we already canceled. Can't cancel if you've never been on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, all right, but yeah, so they redid. Um, Jubilee's uh, introduction to the X-Men and shit. Whereas Jubilee was the insert for niggas who might not be familiar with X-Men. Sunspot is the fucking my daughter, right? She's she's supposed to be watching who the fuck are these people? What's going on? I said, I asked my daughter, you want to watch it? She was like, X-Men? What the fuck is X-Men? She didn't curse. <laughs> but that's basically what her face said. And then I said, and I was like, you don't even know who the X-Men are? She's like, I, I, I know there's a movie. Then I realized the movies came out before she was born. I was like, damn. The movies are 24 years old. I was like, damn. You the this. movie 2000. X-Men 2000. That was the movie. Can I just take an aside that the worst thing Marvel ever did as a company was try to move the Avengers over the X-Men? And now look who they're crawling back to to save their life. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. Listen. No, no, no. I can't let you do that, man. They, that's all they had. That's all they had. And they had to dance with who brought them. You know what I'm saying? Fox was out here making all that X Men money, and Marvel had mm -hmm. to had to act as if the Avengers was on par with the X Men, or even yeah. better. Dare say it better. Whatever, nigga. So anyway, <laughs> motherfucker, Sunspot don't use his powers, and he rich. He, uh, so the nigga taking Angel, because I remember that was Angel's storyline. He hated being a mutant, even though yeah. this nigga had majestic, yeah. beautiful wings. I, I don't understand. <laughs> the the dog, beautiful. <laughs> I, he had like you nigga you rich first of all that's the superpower in and of itself you Man, trying to tell me bitches don't want to go for a flight and Tony Stark bro fuck that shit you telling me bitches don't want to go for a flight you don't fuck a bitch <laughs> hey, mid air you, you got you, angel you wings my nigga you, like, have angel like you, you have angel wings I'll never give you any box my oh, nigga that's like, <laughs> not nigga, one bitch never box. said that Chris not oh. one bitch ain't never said that, my nigga. I'll never give you any box these majestic white wings you got, bitch. <laughs> they just put wing emojis on all their ki kids that they aborted and shit. They, they love them shit, see? Hey, you rich? Oh, man. Wow. You, got some dough. you could pay for the flight. You could pay for the flight, nigga. But you don't, you going to hold them while you flying, nigga? Jeez, and if, but instead, you want to dedicate your life to fucking killing Apocalypse? <laughs> nigga. Wait a minute, that was afterwards. Nah, nigga. That was afterwards. Nah, nigga. That was always in the back of his mind, man. I'm talking you know about uh I'm talking about baggy suit X-Men days. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, okay. I got all right. All right. All right. And that nigga was ashamed to be a uh, fucking. That's how he got into the apocalypse trouble. Nigga. He was trying to get his powers <laughs> taken away. And ungrateful as rogue too. But, uh, uh, but um, anyway, they did the whole episode like kind of how Jubilee did it, and it was. At first, I, I'm telling you, the whole time I was waiting for it to get trash. Like I was on the edge of my seat. To jump on my phone and talk shit about it, nigga. Like I was waiting like a double dutch. Like, what, what the fuck is going on here, dude? Why, why is this nigga doing the exact jubilee thing? But it made sense to me, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then I noticed that the main thing that I noticed is that the reason why I think X Men works right now in this day and age is because it's what we all knew, but some people were fooled. Like X Men been woke since been woke and shit. You know what I'm saying? Since Claire, Chris Claremont took over, when it was right. the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, it was just bad guy versus good guy. But when Chris Claremont took over, that's when he added all this, all these layers of social issues, right. and that's what they love now. So now they don't have to create uh, social engineering to make the character say stuff that is woke. It was, it was already, already there. It was already there. It was already there. Yeah. So there. this is the perfect vehicle for them to get behind and not try to trash. But the only thing, the one thing that they're doing that I think I see, um, and maybe I'm making it up because I'm looking for the, I'm looking for the woke nigga uh, culprit, is it seems to me that they are downplaying Gambit and Wolverine because they were two bastions of masculinity and shit. You know what I'm saying? They are. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me let me chime in just like ahead. a little bit though. Is um is I I'll, I'll back you in on that. Is because you can you can see it though a little bit, right? So take for example, when I was watching it, I seen them pull back. Sean, even before we started recording the comp, the uh, the podcast, do you remember what I said? I said they made Wolverine a tad more playful than normal. One, he he gives off an air as even when he pops his claws at Buddy inside there. I said Wolverine kind of did it, but it been more aggressive, less with a smile. But he had the big grin on his face doing the thing. But also at the same time is. If you could say that, and then when he's in the club even talking to Morph, you know what I mean? Wolverine's not, he doesn't brood enough. And that that's Morph a, is the only one that can make him laugh, though. I'm going to give him that. Fair. You know I mean? yeah, and, they, yeah. and they kept that. They kept that they buddyship that. between them. They kept their buddyship. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what they do. Well, that but nigga love Morph. Love Morph. Fucking damn near died when he died. They, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I go where I want to go. They, uh, but also, oh. even, even that point, look, Look at Remy's shit. Look at what Remy ran wearing inside that fucking kitchen, bro. <laughs> listen, <laughs> he got, listen. He, he, <laughs> everything they did was based on something, right? So that's why I say this gay nigga knew. Now he's gay. He knew. So he knew. He knew it was of, fine. Course, of course, he gonna go with the cop top, but that happened like, in the old episode. I was gonna say Remy had a top. Crop Remy top had a crop home. top, but I don't, I don't know. Shit looked a little different. It was. It was more. It was less. It was less fucking uh, rage against the. The gay machine and more, okay. and, and more so Sidney Dean and white man can't jump. Yeah, I was gonna say, man, let me say Dean. Remy crop top look like he played, you know, football type shit or whatever, or like it looked it looked more. Yeah, bad. that's it. Look like he, he hooked his own t-shirt up. You, like he, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know what like make this that. look good, girl, Chef? <laughs> no, no, no. Where's my no, scissors, no. Chef? But, but no, um, this is what I'm gonna say. What this, is it about Mr. Bell? I'm gonna shoot him. Go ahead, Mr. Bell. I'm gonna shoot him, man. Is so I, there was always that dynamic of will they, won't they? And I'm going to say that with Wolverine and I'm going to say it with Gambit because there was a possibility that Gambit was going to get rolled, right? There was a possibility, far be it, a distant possibility, but it was a possibility that Wolverine maybe had a chance with Gene. Gene felt something for him. It, he might get her. Like this oh, nigga, let, that bitch is knocked up. To- would have went into a deep sleep. She, Jean would have fucked Wolverine. Like I that. know, but this is what I'm saying. Like, it's nine deep months. Sleep. Like, what, did, what did you want me to deep do, sleep. Scott? If that what nigga would have slept. I like now. I like. <laughs> what you want me to do, Scott? I like now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I'm saying is like, and so that nigga uh, Remy was in the in the hallway crying because he saw the. You know what I'm saying? He saw a uh, um a uh, uh, rogue pull her pants up over that flat ass. Walking out uh Magneto right, office, right. man. Get, get you know what I'm saying? Remy, Remy was willing to die for the pussy, my nigga. Really? You know what willing to die. Yeah, and on occasion, died already for it. Pull them gloves yeah. off, baby. Pull them gloves off. 
Yeah. On occasion, it had to be resuscitated. Yeah, like, like, said, yeah, come yeah, kiss me in, in, in the room in five minutes. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Hit it with that motherfucking Peppy Le Pew. And that goddamn uh, fucking... Wait, is this jokes from the first podcast? Oh, y'all fucking... That was three years ago, my nigga. Make it again. Say it again. <laughs> nigga hit it with that motherfucking... Uh, Snow White and shit. They had to kiss this bitch. Yeah, nah. Oh, uh, anyway, but what I'm saying is like, okay, so, he, so everything my, is my based on was, something. Everything yeah. you can, everything you can almost like say. Wait a minute, is that some woke shit? Wait a minute, is that some gay shit? Wait a minute, is that some? It, it is kind of based on some shit. Like you, you can't really be that yeah. bad. But that's what I'm saying. Like. The reason I feel just right now in these first two episodes that they not oozing machismo and bravado is because they already feel like they lost in a way. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Whereas yeah. back in the day it was, nigga, I still got it. Nigga, I'm me. Nigga, I got adamantium. Nigga, I was around since since the first men, my nigga. I'm the man, nigga. Like, he thought he was going to get it. Now it's like, she got her damn bags packed. She ready. Right. They ready she, to move out. They just had a baby. You yeah. seen it, the scene when 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 she, when they looked at the door. Wolverine was there watching them with the kids. Something that you know, Wolverine, you know, family and shit. And then he see it, and then next thing you know, he look back and my nigga gone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Type shit. So he felt for that. Yeah, yeah. he uh left a scar on the door too. Like if you look at the door, it's a um a scratch on the door. Yeah. Yeah, Wolverine got the fuck out of there, boy. <laughs> And I think that's something that I think people who are watching 97 who weren't big fans of the original one, like let's say somehow he was under eight rocks and shit and didn't watch you, it. Right, you just missed it. Or let's say you're a little older, like you're 49, 48, so you, you just didn't watch the shit. I would even say, this is why I say they took the good parts and they even took the bad parts that like gave the show its je ne sais quoi shit because X-Men is just... The damn near just a soap opera for children and shit. It really is, it. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people, because even my daughter, when she watched, she was like, I liked it, but some of the dialogue was kind of corny. And I was like, you got to understand that this one is the 90s, but it was for children in the 90s. And it says 97, but the shit started, what, like, three? Yeah, 92. Yeah. So when, like, Cyclops says the not joke or whatever... A lot of people was on the internet. I think, Sean, you showed me the little video of somebody like, I know this isn't X-Men because he never would have said that. But you forget. He never would have said what? Not. Where he said, said that. please don't, uh, when he when he took his glass off. Hey. He, but he actually did that before. Yeah. He did it, and that's the... Right, right. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. You kind of yeah. forget because you are you remember all the trill parts. <clears throat> yeah. Wolverine saying, sometimes claws slip. They won't if you tell us we're getting but it's you know shit like that. You remember yeah. all the trail lines. But there was a lot of exposition. There's a lot of like yeah. speeches in the middle of fights and shit. Right. And they couldn't rely on the the fucking animation. So they had the to character rely, on yeah, the exposition. They had to rely on the dialogue and the, the character building. Say word. Okay. So I think a lot of people are kind of put well, not a lot of people, but some people that I'm seeing don't realize that so i have an older i have several older brothers but i have one that's Same closest show. to me in age he's about five years older than me and i remember him he was like yeah i like the show but they you say a lot of corny shit man you know what i'm saying and i was like yeah but that's the that's what gives it his quality you know what i'm saying that's what gives it what it is so yeah um moving on i think we, we talked about gamma's clothes we talked about Cyclops saying, this is the, another thing that I knew while I was right about the masculinity shit. Cyclops said, I don't know who's worse, him or Wolverine. And I was like, yep. Yeah. They, uh, it was the Pope. You know. Yeah. And then Jubilee calling Wolverine a bozo. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. They was dumping on like him being brooding, per se. Yep. Even though he's not done anything. Technically, we, we don't even know. That's the thing is, this is the first episode. We haven't even fucking seen Logan yet. You know but what I'm saying? What we do see, he's either he's either overly aggressive, yes, or just a fucking asshole. This thing right. walks up to Cyclops and said, "You know the worst thing about the professor being gone, you." <laughs> he, walks he, didn't mean, he didn't mean. He didn't mean it. Like, God, God damn! Right? He didn't mean it. God. 
what what is Scott even saying? The nigga just asked me to go <laughs> sniff the nigga out and shit. Nigga, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, they got him already like on the bad side of everything. But technically, I, I kind of didn't see anything wrong with that portion because he's already in a bad mood because he figured it out. He already yeah, he figured it out. He figured it. Yeah, he, figured he, it, out. it was before we even start realizing it. Before even Gene or Cyclops discusses it, uh, Logan's been sitting on that information. He knows, like, yo, there's no place for a baby here. He's already been thinking about it because he loves Gene. So he's like, they're gonna leave me. Can I? Yeah. Can I just say, you know, I, I like to heap praise upon this show because I was very, I was enthralled and I was uh, thoroughly entertained. But I'd just like to take this time to say fuck Storm. All right? Okay, here we go. All oh. right. This motherfucker oh. gave a speech of speeches about family of, like like she was motherfucking Vin Diesel out here. You, know what I'm <laughs> you don't you don't go when the the times are tough and the when the seas are raging and what That's I don't have show. You no doing more. that? <laughs> holla, holla motherfucker. Be, peace bitch. Storm. Mm-hmm. That's my slave name. I don't go by that no more. <laughs> yeah, Aurora. Aurora. Got Aurora. That bitch was out. Really. She was like a fucking. But hold on, uh, but hold on, but hold on, but hold on. Let, there is something else I did. I did want to. It has. This has to do with X Men, but and this probably isn't the first time it's done, but maybe one of the most notable because the 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 gun that takes away your powers is in the comic book. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, yeah. That's that's a question for Matt. He's our resident it is, it is. fucking expert. It is. It's right? in the comic book. It's, it's in the comic. It's in the comic. It's in the comic book, right? old ones too from so, the seventies. So yeah. so so, just to diverge from this is that is that My Hero Academia, which is actually an anime, right? Which is based on a school full full of technically technically mutants who have DNA changes. Um, which which they don't call them because they just call them superheroes and shit. And it's based on like American comic books. They actually have an arc that is kind of based on that gun and those bullets and where they come from. Like they it's obvious that they've taken it from from this path. You know what I'm saying? A very, very popular show. Which if you didn't if, if that if you look at that show and you didn't know the history of it, you wouldn't know that this is kind of where they ended up pulling it from. You think, oh yeah, anime, we just kind of made this shit. But but literally that show is a it's pretty much a love note. To X Men, in a way, and a lot of those shows are technically, but yeah, well, just I mean, this is the, <laughs> this is the uh, you know, what I'm saying the well from which everybody's got to drink water, you know, what yes, I mean? yes. but I mean, at, at the same time, this was the, the plot of the movie we don't speak of, X3, X9. <laughs> is, is that the am I often thinking that? Am I, is yeah, that it's a it? very similar plot, and it's also yeah. they chose to go the route of they gave Leech. They gave the leech powers to some to Charles Xavier's son, and yeah. this also is how you get to to fucking apocalypse and shit. So in the cartoon, so I don't know. Yeah, so well, the- anyway, so the first episode goes down. They whoop off on Master Mole's ass, which it's funny because that's my favorite episode from the first X Men. Is them going Master Mole? Yeah, his first uh, appearance, and um. They they put that their homage to that in there. There's a lot of homages. Yeah, it is. It definitely. But it is. doesn't. Feel, but it doesn't feel weird because you know they're picking up right where they left off. Yeah. So it almost fits more so than when like Star Wars does it, and you're like, come on, man, get your own shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. What got so, me in the um first episode um um was Cyclops uses concussion blast instead of a heat blast. All right, he used a concussion blast to get out of the way when they were yes. fighting. Okay, yes. now again, I went in the man. My expectations was was down there having dinner with the devil. Okay, yeah. my that's where my expectations for this was simply because I don't want to keep using the word woke, man. I just think that word is used too much. But like the whole rogue thing, whatever, like that. So I'm like, okay, um, Jubilee Asia, and the reason she Asia is because the voice actor <laughs> so stupid though. The voice actor didn't want to be typecasted, so she chose to play somebody else, and then yeah. they made you. It's, it's it's just so much bullshit in the background, but whatever, whatever. So I was like, I'm okay, but I ended up watching it, and um, and then I got I, I kind of got tired or tired of um Cyclops saying my X Men or whatever, but I get why he kept saying in the first episode because that shit changed at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was dope. Yeah. Man. 
Mag, Mag, that shit back smooth, nigga. Yeah, what me, made me, what made me say, damn, I'm a, I'm, I'm a keep watching this shit when they was falling and the nigga used his concussion blast to hit the ground. Yeah, yo, but it that was kind of, it, it, it was, it gave like the, that, the piggyback on like how it was, uh. What well, Goose saying is like it was dope. I pick when he fights the fuck out of here team. He starts yeah, kind of like yo, when they did the fuck out of here team. He used yeah, that shit to get out the way. Using I was it like, to get out the way when he used it to blast back. And first of all, the the one of the things I know I keep talking about animation, but y'all know I'm a creative and an artist. Like the fucking the way they do the, the fight scene are so much smoother. Good God, yes. who, whoever is directing the fucking fight scenes now. And is animating them. I wouldn't be surprised if they got them motherfuckers from overseas. But they they doing what they need to yeah. do. But it gave Side me Marvel. Fire. It it gave me Marvel, <laughs> Marvel, Marvel versus Capcom vibes. Like damn, Matt, pure. You don't, they don't make <laughs> no yeah, good yeah. animators in America, do they? <laughs> damn, Matt, that's not what I'm saying. Man, <laughs> I don't hey, know. You kind of just said it. Matt, <laughs> if you don't want to invite him back, man, just I say the word, it, man. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they got him from overseas. It might have been two <laughs> niggas from <laughs> Cleveland, but man, damn. Man. They, the have good like studios the here. Man. they have good studios here, but I don't know if Disney want to spend that budget, bro, because they, they seem like they probably blew a budget to even make this happen. Listen, and you, but that... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, but that kind of shows itself in the, in the show, because back in the day, a lot of little things that they did to save money on animation, right? So, right. like, they'll do close-ups on their face and all that, so they don't have to animate the whole screen and shit reuse like that. Sales, they the were still doing it over and over again. Yeah, reuse the same sales. That's what they call yeah. it. Reusing the same sales. But I, I think I like this better because I mean, like like Ak was saying earlier, as much as we wax poetic about the old show, a lot of their fights was pick somebody up, throw them, or stand there in, in a fucking fighting stance and have a, a three minute conversation and all that shit. Like, yeah, like now these niggas, I'm going to say, you, I, I think what was said on the last episode, but was like, do we even have action com action cartoons anymore and stuff like that? But at the same time, we got Invincible, you got different shit. Like, so you got, you really kind of got to still kind of keep up with what's going on right now. So yeah. I, I think and, they, but that, but that's what I'm saying about the budget. It looked like they just spent more. Yeah, they spent less on the talking scenes, right? Where yeah, just they're talking, and they spent more animated the shit out of that. Because exactly, Cyclops fighting is—I don't think I've ever seen it depicted like that ever in my life. Mm -mm. So who, whoever came right. up with that just was smart. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that motherfucker will blast you once, especially when Mister Sinister came. That motherfucker will blast you once <laughs> and talk a lot. <laughs> you want to mess with my family? Blast. <laughs> well, now you're messing with me, Mr. Blast. Can we say that that nigga got a super upgrade in character, nigga? Because he's yeah. still an annoying Boy Scout, but you also see that he's true with it. Like, he's my brother's favorite character, my brother Ibn. He's yeah. my And I always was like, how? Nigga, like, why? He's like, the one you see in the cartoons and in the movies is not like the one in the comic books. He's way truer than that. I was like, ah, uh, you got you news to me, nigga. News to me. Is your what? brother older? The brother older than you? Yep, he's fifty. Okay, okay. Well, the, oh, well then, yeah, 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 yeah. He know the world of comics. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, what's up? What uh? Like, what's up? What what uh? What Morris called him the most? I'm married to the most boringest man. That's the boringest leader. That's the boringest guy in the world. That type shit. Yeah, yes. but I'm, I'm I, gonna lie, but guy. the the animation did definitely disrespect Cyclops, but. Not nearly as bad as movies, man. Like those movies disrespected Cyclops oh, a to a different level. Like I remember seeing it because I actually like Cyclops too. I remember seeing X two and like I remember Wolverine jumps in his car and is playing in sync. He's like, ugh, this fag. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> like every every second they could like sneak in a jab at Cyclops, they did. And then they just killed him in the third one, and nobody cared. Then they had like a funeral for like Brother Rex. He wasn't even in it. And they're like. Nobody cared. It was like, hey, where's where's Psych where's Scott? And it was like, who? Oh the dead guy. The dead nobody guy. cares. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's like, oh Scott. <laughs> Pro yeah, probably in the afterlife, listening to some more in sync, you know what I mean? Damn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, like yeah. Bad, man. <laughs> yeah. And they in the movies, they never could understand that his blast was concussive and not heat. Like uh, they just they couldn't get it. Right? 
They, they just they didn't understand what the optic blast was. I'm like, optic why blast. is he melting shit? Why is shit on fire after he sprays his optic blast, nigga? This shit don't make no sense. Yeah, that's I mean, but that was the thing. Like the movies treated him like a bitch, and I'm so glad that now we're this far removed from the movies where we can actually get back to like the dynamic as it's supposed to be, right? Because like even even when they blew up the Blackbird, and I didn't know how I felt about that. But they blew up the Blackbird and they're free falling. And you're like, ah, part of my plan. Like, ha, ha. Hey, everybody flip yeah. that to me, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. They turned it to the A-team real quick. But they like, <laughs> <laughs> got them right where we wanted. What the yeah, fuck? I love it when a plan the comes together. <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy. And when they were falling, I was like, is somebody going to, like, they were all relaxed and falling. I was like, yo, they were relaxed. Everybody knows who to grab. Everybody knows who to grab. I figured. Because yeah. you can kind of sure. see it. It's kind of, but that's the thing about it, right? It's like you said, since the animation's so much better, it's less exposition. When they start falling, nobody starts talking. Rogue already knows I need to go get such and such and such. And the angel goes over there, grabs fucking Wolverine. Turns in the angel out of the out of the fucking blue. No problem. Right. Right. Yeah. Grab, grabs Wolverine. But it's not a whole lot of talking. It's like, you know who the fuck you supposed to grab. We got plenty of time who fallen. Ain't nobody need to die. Grab who the fuck you see and let's go. How would y'all feel when this nigga Cyclops said some motherfucking hit him with the do it hit him with the storm with the report, sto- hit him with the forecast hit him with the <laughs> hit him with the forecast storm I was like, oh, so I get this nigga you- catchphrases and shit right? <laughs> hey, that and um afraid of me <laughs> no have you met my wife like <laughs> I saw that coming. That shit was hella cool. Yeah. Fuck. How, how y'all feel about that, though, right? So, like, Professor X dies or whatever. These niggas lose all their scruples. This shit. They just <laughs> digging in niggas' minds immediately. And right. Shit, you the cheat code. Yeah. I was like, I, I, was, I was like, Gene cool with that? Psychops cool with that? Boy like, Scout cool yeah, with that? Yeah. They, they playing fast. Listen, that's, that's that Marvel Disney playing fast and loose with fucking... Morals and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they stay doing that shit, and then at the end, her hypocrite ass, just like Disney. Right, right. Oh. Pulls back. She pulls I can't, back. Right? I can't look in back needles that. mind. That's wrong, bitch. You just did it earlier. What the fuck you talking about? I was on hey, Scott's side like a motherfucker. You said nigga. that. But then you do that shit earlier. <laughs> nigga said, check his mind every day, every hour, <laughs> every hour on the day. You were telepath. They gonna fuck wrong with you. Just walk I was in on Scott's side, that nigga, nigga. Oh shit! Like this yank. She ain't got nothing else to do, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, that, there was a lot going on with that Magneto shit. First of all, okay, I know the comments, the storyline, whatever, but them niggas accepted that shit a little too much. First of all, second of all, fuck is wrong with Charles Xavier? But how did you know this nigga was going to be good when he took over all his shit? One Listen. and two. What's the legality of that, nigga? Can fucking public enemy number one yeah, can to open terrorists? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can, <laughs> Worldwide wanted terrorists <laughs> just coming in. Well, I mean, he left it to him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we it. It's like it's everything checks out. It's like we checks out. <laughs> I don't like it though. I don't have to like it. <laughs> fucking in perpetuity, he gets the fucking power. <laughs> what? What you, I don't know, man. Yeah, no, I don't listen. But once again, I watched the last episode. In the last episode, he was with him. Like, yeah. When, when Professor X was dying, he was like, that nigga was like, yeah, nigga, let's fuck everything up. Let's get it out here. They was like, hey, Magneto, you know Professor X dying. Nigga, what you say? Nigga, I'm, nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm going to his bedside and shit. So, you know, I, and I understand that was fucking Were they a little too close for y'all? Who? No. Professor X, Magneto, and Charles, no, like, no, 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 my nigga, no, don't do that. No. Don't do that. No, no. Man, I, I don't know nah. if it's because I know the nigga's gay or what, my nigga. But they was like, he loves you so deeply, my nigga. <laughs> his love for you is eternal. I was like, come on now, man. Like uh, Paul is cool and shit, my nigga. But I ain't know that. Nah, nigga, Paul's cool, but I ain't. I ain't leaving this nigga all my earthly possessions and shit. You know what I'm saying, my nigga. First of all, first, uh, Lalandra didn't want his earthly possession. You know That's saying? fine, nigga. He could have left it to what's the, uh, Maura Taggart, Maura nigga. Taggart, yeah, nah, nigga. That he'd have done fine as the leader of the X-Men. Banshee, Banshee would have felt away about that, but nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let, lay, man. Let him leave it to his homeboy, man. I don't Wait. know, man. They made him a little too close. I know they're supposed to be friends way back, like eight pole flax on the Cadillac. <laughs> 
But that was a little too much for he me. He built bro. all that shit with him, man. At the end of the day, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't be like that. That leg was a little too flowery, nigga. They need to right. take... And then, then Magneto, we talking about Gambit's little half shirt. His little zesty ass suit, nigga. I ain't really, you know what I mean? Listen, so... You either have no sleeves or long ass gloves, nigga. You ain't gonna do both, nigga. You ain't gonna do both, nigga. Nah. <laughs> That outfit should have stayed in the 80s, eh? Damn, my nigga, when I was like six, my mother brought me a uh, X-Men encyclopedia. And that outfit is on the back of, mm-hmm. that, in the, of that encyclopedia. That's the only time I've ever seen that outfit. That and nigga so, had that outfit on for three comics, nigga. That's it. And then niggas <laughs> unanimously voted to, they wrote in to fucking oh, yeah. get him Get yeah. him the fuck off. Yeah, in the comics, when he took over the team, the first thing he did was made everybody put on team uniforms, man. Like, <laughs> it was weird. It's like, yo, like, I don't know how Charles ran this, but nah, we're gonna be organized here. Make your blue and golds out, and then he, like, put out his blue and gold. It was really, really weird, man. Yeah, he's just like, <laughs> man. like, yeah, and everybody like, well, he's like, ah, oh, man, it's hard ass over here. It's like, you too. It's like, I really wear, like, my, uh, yeah, you know, oh, this blue and gold. Nah, put on this blue and gold. You know? <laughs> Nigga, we start walking around with a megaphone and shit. Get the class, bitch. <laughs> Expeditiously, son. Nigga. 25, nigga. nigga I think I class, nigga. <laughs> hey, high, sing, sing the fucking uh, school of <laughs> gifted mutant song, nigga. And don't miss a word, bitch. But <laughs> <laughs> you, you going in the sewers nigga. with the Morlocks, nigga. Fuck <laughs> out of here. That motherfucker's not gonna be <laughs> fake, nigga. What are you fucking They used to call me Magnus. Now they call me Magneto and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! I forgot they even had the Morlocks in there. I forgot all about I mean, that. but so I, I fucked with him on that, my nigga. That nigga said, my nigga, y'all never fucking thought to use twelve billion dollars. Yeah, that's never, true. Y'all never thought oh, to use three thousand dollars to buy. But, them but here's the thing, nigga. though. Here's the thing. Somebody should have said, "Uh, we tried." Them <laughs> niggas said, "We prefer to stake it as sewers." Nigga. <laughs> nigga, they wanted us to fight for their fucking their deity, my nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> they, no, no, that's the other. That's Gambit's people. They wanted them to uh fight for the leadership. Like the leadership, the yeah, the queen. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Storm was the leader and <laughs> said, "All right, y'all stay down here, and chill while I'm going." <laughs> she used to the smell down here. I'm gonna yeah, let her hold down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go back up top. I'm gonna though, go back on top because, g- damn, I don't know what that <laughs> smell is. Nigga, and you're green, so fucking no, I'm gone. And storm from the cradle of the earth, nigga. She just smells some things, <laughs> man. Tell you that right now, man. You know what I mean? They was talking about going back to Africa. You better bring a nose plug with you, up, man. Bring you a little fucking handkerchief to breathe in. We done lived on the streets of Marrakesh, my nigga. Bitch, know a thing or two, my nigga. Yeah, about the slums, my nigga. And y'all nigga, she had to leave there quickly. <laughs> quickly, my nigga. Yeah. Oh my um, god. Yeah. So first so I was, Scott's was right to be fucking suspicious, but all right, whatever. And then I right, let's get into the second episode, my nigga. I got much less problems with the second episode. Nigga. Like I they did that thing, they did it, man. They did whatever it is that they did, my nigga. Execution was whooping off on the ass. Is he that trail in the comic books? Matt? No. 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 I'll take that one and say, hell no, he wasn't. Okay? He didn't even look that cool. Oh, my goodness. That's... Well, they, they, they knew where to play it up at, man. Yeah. 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 They're like, all we can do is get this nigga a gun. I mean, then this nigga... They had some speeches for, for everything in there. This nigga said, all you do is whine. <laughs> it, yeah, and so they did a good job of not being too heavy-handed, because they could have went further. So, like, when he was like, I'm just a mutant. I'm a good... I'm not like the guys on TV. I'm a good guy. He's like, the only good mutant is a dead mutant. That's what I thought he was going to say, right? But he didn't say that. He didn't go that far. When he said, all you do is whine, he, they could have went further with that shit, with that rhetoric from the the um, fucking Republican rhetoric about woke people. They could have went further. They really did. They say, all you do is argue and scream about your fucking problems. You want to know why I don't like you? Because that's what you do. Other people have problems, too. You just don't complain. Oh, wow. You know what? Y'all got a good point. <laughs> yeah, I brought that shit in. Yeah. Get Damn, Ock, you got that's Yeah, that's a that's a good point. 
Man, you should yeah, yeah, over here. Yeah. Chris ain't never thought thought that deeply about nothing. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, damn, bro. <laughs> Fuck. Come on now. I be I be I I be bring some shit in here now. Nigga, am I gonna fry the chicken tonight? Oh, I'm a motherfucker. Damn, bro. Why I gotta be Mary chicken? Day. Why I gotta be fried? <laughs> I don't know if I'm a deep fried turkey. Or okay, um, but yeah, uh, that second episode though, yeah, that shit was dope. That shit was dope. The speeches, I, that's what we used to. Like the thing I remember the most about X Men is the dialogue, and that's the reason why I fucking hate anime. Is the dialogue? I don't know if it's just a Japanese thing; it don't translate well, or if them Japanese niggas is just corny and shit. You know what I mean? Look at the way they dress. It might be the latter. You know what I'm saying? But Man, we are never ever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't, come don't come here for starter, my nigga. Don't, nigga. Don't, this, ain't, this ain't the place. Yeah. Nigga, my beef in a knock at the door right now. This nigga. ain't the place. Simultaneously, nigga. They come but, <laughs> but, yeah, the dialogue is on point. Matt, how did you feel about the second episode's, like, the way it played? It was the first episode, I think, they were hitting beats a little too quickly. But now that we, this is they just set it up, the table set, this is how it's going to go. Down I thought and let it cook. The second down, episode cook. was paced a little better. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, no, I totally agree. The second episode was good. Um, I mean, I like the first one too, but the second episode was good. Um, uh, you know, there's a couple of things like here and there. Um, I don't think Magneto's character, I don't know if he'll be that willing to do it. I, you get introduced to Magneto in the series as saving Beast from, from jail, saying, you know, I, I want a fair trial. And I was looking at Beast like, they are going to murder you before you reach court. <laughs> like, right. Like, you know, like, there, there is no fair trial. shake and shit and then, with the fair day in court. Yeah, like, we talk, and then we get to see Beast fair day in court, and they were throwing tomatoes at him. So I don't know if in this universe, Magneto would just be like, are you going to give me a fair trial? Sure. Okay, I guess. I, mean, I just don't see that. Like, like, the dialogue should be like, hey, you remember when they said that they were going to give you a fair trial and they started throwing tomatoes at you in court? <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> like, I am not doing this. Like, no way. Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought, I was a little strange. I thought he was going to have like an ace, like when Storm said, take his collar off. I thought he was going to pull the collar off himself and say, nigga, magnetism. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I thought he was, I didn't know he was really, like, that nigga really let them do what they wanted to do. Because I recall uh, we went and got motherfucking Saddam out of the hole, nigga, and killed him <laughs> in the hole, nigga, and Indeed. brought him over. Uh, we, uh, we threw his body in the water, nigga, to honor him. Never be seen again. Never be seen again. They should have scrubbed him into that <laughs> hole. They got him out of the hole, killed him, and put him back in the hole. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they threw a nigga. Oh, yeah. Uh, we did that to honor him and shit. You know how that go. America, nigga, we out. Never yeah, the motherfucking Magneto, as many people he done put in danger, nigga. Oh, fucking nigga had the nuclear codes and shit, nigga. The nigga had nuclear codes. He, he had the nuclear the nukes on. He not only had the codes, he had the. Uh, he had them in the air. He put the motherfuckers in the air, yeah. nigga. Yeah, he had nope. control, bro. He nope. was ready. Uh, listen. That's yeah, nah, thing. you kill that nigga on the way, nigga. You don't get, you don't get, you don't make it this try, nigga. Hey, you beat that nigga up in the paddy wagon, nigga. nigga. that's in the Constitution, nigga. They say a nigga uh, threaten the globe as a whole, nigga. You got to nigga, nigga. You walk around with that nigga head like Gaddafi, nigga. We found him like <laughs> nigga, I don't know what happened, man. Nigga head just fell off, my nigga. <laughs> we put oh, the collar on too tight, nigga. His head popped off this shit, nigga. <laughs> that nigga banged his head against the wall 87 times. Well, nigga, <laughs> these mutants are crazy out here. They're nigga. crazy. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> but um, I listen, even though that's once again, love the show. Let me say I love the show. However, I don't know if taking your the 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 trial, the peers that you're appearing in front of, the tribunal that you're appearing in front of, I don't know if taking them up to 80,000 feet. And saying, can't we just be done with this already? He, they they rushed the speech a little bit. Nigga. <laughs> he like, went from crushing a nigga like a bug under his feet real quick into, but I'm not going to do that though. Right. You know what he, I'm saying? He, he was basically saying, even when he was taking him into the air, he said, he said, he was I basically want you to saying, see the like, world I, from this vantage. I want, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was saying, Charles showed me that we're just a small piece of a bigger, a bigger puzzle. When did he show him that though, man? Can we? <laughs> 
Maybe he took maybe he took his ass on the jet. Maybe, maybe he took he, maybe he took him on the jet or some shit. I, yeah, I one mean, of their secret late, late night rendezvous. Yeah, oh, oh, I haven't seen hey, hey, bro. Bro. I, I, hey, damn, bro. damn, oh, 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 they too close for you, bro. They a little too close for me in this oh, world. Man. They, 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 they do a late night drives. Up, up hey, listen, like, listen, listen, uh, listen, <laughs> I, I, hey, listen. Hey, hold on. <laughs> I ain't saying there's a problem with it. I'm just saying I see gay. I say uh, gay, nigga. That's all I'm saying. Damn, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, you, you should. Hey, 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 Sean, you sure hey. you want to post this podcast, bro? I ain't gonna hold. <laughs> nah, hold on, wait a second. Nah, I ain't gonna hold you. That come on, damn, bro. That nigga. Uh, they they developed the school together. That means that Charles had to tell Magneto all his hopes and dreams. Oh shit, nigga. Hey man, one day, what you gonna do one day? Nigga, I'm gonna open the school, nigga. Right, right, right. Nigga, that school gonna be off the chain, nigga. Right. right. Nigga, I see you in the moonlight with the light glistening. All yeah, over, all over your body. All, all over your body. All over your body. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love your nigga, body. Nigga, do you want to see the whole world, nigga? I'm gonna show you the. <laughs> yeah, I used that line on the bitch really, before too. Yeah, I was gonna say that's all game. That's oh, all game. I'm nigga. not doing this. I'm not the doing world, this. The world I'm really small, my nigga. We really I, small in not, this world, nigga. I, I will not. Yeah, asteroid in this shit, nigga. Fuck out of here. Oh, Astro yeah. glide. I, I, I can't get jiggy with this yo, yo, shit. I can't get going. Nah, I'm saying though, the nigga's gay though. The nigga who made this show is gay though. I mean, the nigga let you ain't gonna do that to Charles and Matt Needle. Just a free side though. Back back on track. But he says two things. Two things. He says that. Uh, when he's like about to like kill him, he's like, I really saved y'all. I would have no intent to kill me. He was like, I pulled you out of there to save your lives. He's like, I could step on your face, but I won't. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I don't know that that speech at 30,000 feet is not that riveting, my nigga. It wasn't moving all your sins, my nigga. Like, I don't know. Oh, it's know. not, it's not, but like, he was hoping they would have got back the down to that like, ground and said, guilty as charged. <laughs> Yeah, they would have guilty, my nigga. Hey, but you, but, hey. You know, no, but you see how they did him though. Is when up? he was like, I didn't when he was in the courtroom and he was like, I was just I was just reacting to the injustices that had been done to my people. Once and he again. was like, and he was like, name some people that I fucking get a dude. Was like, I don't give a damn. You've committed crimes against humanity. None of that even fucking matters. He basically was basically saying it was guilty, bro. They were not gonna you let were him. Guilty. Go. He was and guilty. You representing yourself like a dumbass, my nigga. And the bitch said the, the most pertinent thing. She's like, okay, you think we're doing the extermination? How do you? As soon as we let you go, you gonna try to exterminate us? We, we supposed to take a pinky promise out this motherfucker? Yeah, like we ain't gonna kill each other. The only way to win the game is not to play. <laughs> he all type shit. We all know what happened when you uh, represent yourself. You remember the last nigga that represented himself? I'm oh, not bro. gonna play with you, mother. I ain't come here to play. I ain't playing with you, niggas. Yo, you was going in. Oh, nigga. So that's what I'm saying, man. I just don't know that that riveting speech, even though it's uh, in the heavens, I don't Yo. know that still you get nine million hours of community service, my nigga. You get no, they, they let him go scot free, nigga. Yeah, I know. No you still intended, getting, I'm saying, you still getting fined, my nigga, and we still holding you until sentence. They still nigga. ain't no cap. Is, they still, I think next, they still want them, bro. I know which is I next April, my nigga. Like, I let's they not won't forget. Them. Fucking Magneto is a Jew, nigga. He has some friends in house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we definitely not getting boy. You oh, better no. not post this shit, boy. Oh, shit. Do not post this oh. shit. Oh. Do not post this shit. Yo, no, no. Uh, uh, keep going. You might get Candace Owens as a next guest. Yeah. <laughs> and now yeah, we're going yeah. to our special correspondent, Candace Owens. <laughs> That's oh, cool. I Give me a it. year. I'll come back and say, I don't know why a pot crack. Uh, <laughs> you, up to you. Hey, you can't just I, read the headlines. I know the, I know. Dun, 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 dun. What's up? What's up? What's up? I know the theme song to Martin. Fucking black people, they're great at uh fucking uh driving uh Chevy box Chevys and shit. Whoa, that's 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 crazy. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, no, no, no. I will say this though, is to even give Ot more validity about like the exposition. One of the only things that I thought was kind of unnecessary, we could have better spent our time for. They kind of did it. I want to say more than once. I can't remember other times, but Gene. One of the things that I didn't like, but I guess it's cool to kind of talk about it, I guess. But she pulls out the Phoenix fucking yeah. suit and she brings she brings up in a mirror and then she says, oh, 
I remember being out there in space and I was I was taken over by a universal force. And she starts exposing, ex, exposing like the Phoenix story. And I'm like, y'all could have kept that shit. Well, I mean, listen, they had hold on now. I mean, to 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 air to give them some bail. They did spend an entire season on the Phoenix. It was four episode series, first and foremost, and then it was a, a I think a two parter for the Dark Phoenix. However, my nigga, and t- when I was when I was eight, excellent. that was a year, my nigga. <laughs> All right, only because right. they played them out of order and shit. Only because they played them out of order and shit. But that um, eight, that took an entire year. <laughs> but, <laughs> let, but let me tell you, they did it the best they could possibly do it, and we'll yeah. never need to see it again, my nigga. That's what I'm saying. So that little throwaway. That little throwaway line, that little ex- ex- exposition dump about just the mention of it. I'm cool with it. I'm cool because if I don't, yeah, they did everything they needed. It was a little unnecessary, though. A little unnecessary. But that is the soap opera that is X. Yeah, you're you know bringing I mean? us back into this world. I'm cool with it. Just, you know, mention some things that happened, you know, until we until we see Mr. Sinister uh, fucking uh, uh, massaging a, 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 a fucking ball of, of a magic Hairless cat. Yeah, fucking uh, they had a baby. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Nah, that nigga sent the baby in there, nigga. That nigga, <laughs> that oh. nigga fucking programmed the baby to be in the bitch's room already. <laughs> oh, shit. Madeline Pryor. Right? Yeah, they're doing that. They're doing that story. They're doing Madeline Pryor, man. How do Is she going to I, become I, the Goblin Queen? Yeah, how we feel about that, Matt? <laughs> gotta see where they take it. So, so, so too really. They, they can really mess it up or not, but like, yeah, I, I gotta see where they take it. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I don't know the X Men cartoon to take a story from the comic books and mess it up. I only know them to improve it, buddy. So I gotta give them because I don't want to see no fucking Goblin Queen. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I yeah. can give a fuck. Yeah. Because isn't the story she makes a deal with the devil? Y'all know how I feel. Do not, I don't like, don't mix magic and devil shit into my superhero shit. I don't want to see it, man. I don't want to see vampires. I don't want to see magic. I don't want to see ghosts with monsters. I don't want to see none of that shit, man. That's, I have a, a hard, fast rule about that what shit. What was the rule? The rule was mummies are okay, right? Or mummies, mummies are fine. They're fine, right? They're a curse. <laughs> They're much like the Wendigo is a curse and shit, man. All right? Yeah, speak on it, Al. Come on. And, but don't I don't want that shit mixed in with my superheroes though. We it's these are two different worlds, my nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to see X Men versus vampires. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't want to yeah. see that. Shit. However, if it's a vampiric like disease, fine, mm-hmm. I'm fine with it. You know what I'm okay. saying? Vampirism. Right. But right. if you but because with vampirism comes the devil and shit and all this other kind of shit. If it if it stems from a scientific thing, like <laughs> oh I spilled this vial. And now if, the dead are waking up. I'm fine. Morbius, Morbius, you want you Morbius? Up, that's all right. what I'm about to say. If you want Morbius. But if it's a Faustian deal, you're not okay. Yeah, no. If fucking Judas is uh fucking made a deal with the devil. <laughs> yeah. Or his deathbed, out, nigga. Vampire, now he's <laughs> now he's fucking doomed to walk the earth, nigga, but right. never in the sunshine and shit. I don't want it. Right. I don't want that vampire. next to Wolverine and shit. Oh, hold on, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, glaze over the fucking uh, uh, Pause, plot. I ain't glaze over nothing, nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. How dare you gloss over Paul? Okay. No, nah, man, that nigga said you a How glazer, you... bro. You been talking about glazing this whole podcast, bro. That nigga said you a glazer. <laughs> nah, hey, accept brother. that. Accept he that. got me confused. <laughs> How dare you gloss over the uh, the, the plot of Dracula 2000, my nigga. That was, that was yeah. fucking excellent, by the way. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? The shut the whole Empire. internet off of you saying that. <laughs> nigga, Dracula was Judas, my nigga. That's why he's allergic to silver. Come on, man. Yeah, the pieces. And what? Oh man, come on. The man. pieces. Yeah. Man, so, <laughs> if Madeline ends up making a deal with the devil, then I'm I'm out. My nigga. All right. <laughs> they had me for two episodes, nigga. Now I'm out, my nigga. All right. And how's this nigga Cyclops? That nigga Cyclops falls in and out of love quicker than Alicia Keys, nigga. All right. <laughs> Because how you have a baby with a bitch, and they'd be like, oh, that's the real bitch over there? Sorry. <laughs> I had told Gene I was going to kick him with her. <laughs> so, yeah, well, yeah. That, that nigga's a sucker for love. Mm-mm. All right, so I got a question, because uh, yeah. we're getting towards the end. I mean, there's only two episodes, right? We don't got to yeah. make this yeah. the longest pie crack ever. Mm-hmm. What do y'all want to see? Now that y'all see the improvements, nigga, 
what do y'all want to see them either yeah. cover, ground for them to cover, characters you want to see, you know, whatever. I'm going to start yeah. with you, Chris. What do I want to see? Uh, I, I, To be honest with you, I like people taking creative liberties. I just want to see, in general, them stick something to the source material, which they've really been doing. Just whatever they're going to do, tie it back to something in the comics and make sure the storylines aren't hella compact. I, how, did they call, Did they say how many seasons that were going to be out or are we just good for one season? I think they're going to take it for how, how it goes. Yeah, I think if it does well, they're probably going to make just like any other show. Okay. Yeah, well, they're probably, then, probably seeing how the reception is and then pick it up from there. But I guarantee, if anything, uh, just by these two episodes, they should have a second season. But because uh, this shit so said far, he need more X Men twenty seven. Twenty seven. Demar said he more X Men twenty seven. Already tweeted. So far, he this more shit got a nine. It's a nine. So yeah, that's uh, pretty there, damn good. So okay. Yeah, well, well, like, well, well, like the thing is, like, I just want to see a good storyline. Get find if you need to find an overarching storyline you can ride off on that has source material so you do not fuck this up. That is that is very well high claim. I don't know how you want to mix it in or even get there now, but you need to get there. Don't do do that. Find a storyline, find some source material, kind of throw some other stuff in there, maybe a couple Easter eggs here and there. Less don't exposition me to fucking death kind of shit. And then kind of stick to that. Stick to something that you know is is well receptive to 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 the fan base. Push that out. But but also, what I don't want to see is I don't want to see them try to smash so much stuff in. Like stick to it and then you know let it play out. Let it play out. Give me an even pace because I think that the the downfall of of, of shows that kind of kind of rehash over stuff that has as much source material as X Men is two things. You don't oh. use any you you don't use any of the source material, which you're fucking up on because it's already there for you. You don't license the fucking product. Why won't you grab the source material? You know it's fucking good, or you wouldn't even be doing the damn show. One. Mm-hmm. Two, or you try to take source material and start smashing three different arcs into one season of a show. And then everything gets gets diluted. Just find one thing and make it the best thing you could possibly do. That's what I want to see. I just want to see you, 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 you use the source material, find, find a great arc, still be creative and bring in things where you can, and then just, just let it fucking flow out. Don't force this shit because it's already, it's already good. It's already right. good. Appreciate that, Chris. You know what I mean? And just for future references, this isn't a uh, shade on anybody. If you don't have a answer to the question you know what i mean don't feel the need to christmas tree it you know what i'm saying like <clears throat> just say i ain't ready yet you know what i'm saying uh goose number one goose original goose classic what do you want to see on the show like now do you see what nigga, they just say with? oh nigga <laughs> <laughs> What, what, what would you now that you see what they're capable of? Where do you want to see them take it, or well, what do you want to see them recover? One thing I was gonna say, um, Chris has spoke on it where when you're using a um a license and the, you got so much material, so much material, uh, don't try to overdo it, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, they got a little formula, just kind of stick to it. Um, it's the but formula don't try to. What's the formula you see? Because I, I see the formula is one big, like, one big set piece fight where they yeah. go all in and then the rest I, is just them talking. Yeah, it, it just it just looked like right now they're trying to focus on a few a few little things, right? I don't know how many, I don't even know how many episodes. We're probably gonna get eight episodes. I don't know how I go. Back in the day, yeah, I'm 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 49. So back in the day, episodes used to be you'd be, you'd be like 18, 20 episodes. Now they like eight episodes and shit like you know, so just just stick to a couple stories like that and don't try to do too much. Don't bring no mutants that don't nobody know. The don't you know what I'm saying? That's cool. Was, to was like, they pushing it with Sunspot? <laughs> was that um, Sunfire? Which one? Is that Sunspot? Sunspot. Yeah. Sunspot. Sunspot. At least at least they swapped them out with somebody. Okay, like you said, it was Angel from um <clears throat> excuse me the, the original, and then I felt like you. I was like, nigga, this is um Jubilee storyline. You know what I'm saying? And she even said, oh, when they found me, she even said that. So just don't try to do too much. You got too much material. You know, just just pick a few things up. 
and uh, what I want to see, like the storyline I wouldn't mind seeing, is that I want to see Deathstrike. I want to see that, like a storyline with Wolverine, that arc where um, it was him and Sabretooth. And I know I just said, don't don't bring too many mutants in here, and I'm just naming other mutants. I mean, but we like, need we need some we need some villains. Yeah, so um, him and Sabretooth. Remember, they like went to that cabin, and Wolverine mm-hmm. kept like getting the migraines and shit like that. <laughs> and it was, it, you know what I'm saying? And Brit, like, I don't know, just some with that. It was like with him, Sabretooth, and um, Yuriko, which is Deathstrike. You know what I'm saying? Yuriko. Yeah, they don't have to do too much to show how X-23 and all that shit. Don't do all that. But like, you know what I'm saying? That was just kind of, that little story arc was kind of cool. But don't do too much, you know? And I, like I say, I'm in, I'm locked in. I I didn't give it no chance because I thought it was going to be completely fucking woke. But when the concussion blast brought me back, out of all the things that brought me back, the concussion, the concussion blast did. All right. Yep. <laughs> I'll go, I'll go next. Um, and I'll just say, uh, I would like to see, I'm waiting for Apocalypse because this gay nigga seems like he knows what was true. He knew what we enjoyed from the first run and apocalypse just seemed like the man and he was done so wrong in the movies that it almost like makes me sick to my stomach so i like to see them bring him back and i like to actually see him do more powers than just turn his hand into a hammer and shit and get big and get small like i would rather i want to see him do more stuff and in that same vein i want to see wolverine use his actual fighting skills like this nigga knows every fucking martial arts on earth and shit and all he does is run at people and go, Rah! you know what I'm saying? Like, they could throw a sidekick or something. Like, you would know I mean? <laughs> you fucking. Hey, y'all picked the move where, um. <clears throat> he, he gave kinetic energy into his claws. Which one? Oh, oh, I yeah, saw that. Dog, he put the kinetic dog, energy into his claws when he threw dog, him. I Gambit saw that. that Gambit touched that nigga claws, yeah, dog. He touched his claws and, 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 and connect. I knew what you were talking about because when dog. I saw them do it, it poked out. Because you remember, the, I can't remember the game that we used to play, uh, but they had some of their like tag team moves from like the comic book yeah. like uh, that they put in there. I never, didn't maybe a question for Matt, I never saw them do that in the comics. So I don't know if that's canon. I mean, his, his claws are attached to his bones, so I figured, like, if he were to do that, his entire skeleton would be... Be, be kinetic, too? <laughs> yeah. Because that's what I thought. When he did it, I, I, was like, I was like, his skull should be lighting up right now. Yeah. Like, type yeah. shit. Yeah, when I saw him do it, I was yeah. like, bro, let me talk to Matt about this. This shit can't... Yeah, I absolutely hated it. I didn't mind the, um, whatever it exploded from it, but that doesn't make too much logical sense to me. One, and then two, I just don't, like... Gambit, don't hop on Wolverine's back like he's Yoshi and you Mario, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. Just... I, yo, yo, I, I saw that and I was like, damn, is Wolverine that heavy and running that fucking fast? Like, 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 it, like he, he, he was like he was weightless, um, but like, you know what I'm saying? It was just fucking terrible. I hated that shit. Yeah, but yeah. Less of that. Less of that. You know what I'm saying? Less of that. I like the tag team maneuvers, like, you know, Magneto put the the shit in the air and then Storm electrified it. Cool. Oh, but if man, you yeah. if you find yourself yeah, yeah. giving a piggyback ride to one of them niggas, nah, like, nah. But um, it was so too close I'll, for you. All. It was too close. It was too it close. Was too close. <laughs> I, <laughs> exactly. I want to see Wolverine fight Sabretooth. I want to see Wolverine fight fucking Omega Red. Uh, that's just probably going to be amazing to watch. The, the you know what I'm saying. I just want to see. I want to see Gambit. Get busy with the po- the bow staff, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I want to see some cool shit like they had. They you they you already vindicated Cyclops. Now go ahead and don't don't treat these niggas like the, y'all did the Hulk and shit. Like oh we you already think he's cool. We're just gonna not focus on that. Nah, let, let everybody get their shit on. And that's something that I think X Men will forever be solidified for more than the Avengers because every member of the X Men has their own personality. Every member has a gimmick. Every member, you're uniquely familiar with their history and all the shit. I don't think Avengers is like that, my nigga. But uh, yeah, I like to see them do that. And as far as storylines, they done did it right every time they did it, man. So one more again. Give me that Days of Future Past, my nigga. Do it nigga, one more come time. on. Come on. <laughs> did they do it right every time, Sean? 
every single time. They do. The only yeah. person that got it wrong was Chris, Chris Claremont in the comics. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga who came up with the idea and shit. Nigga said Kitty back like a dumbass. You know what I was saying? Kitty in the back. Them niggas got, thought, thought Kitty Pry was, they was going to base the whole fucking Marvel comics off that bitch. Boy, they thought she was going to be it, boy. They think almost took their name out the game and shit. Eh? <laughs> and Kitty was uh the one that can phase the walls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey Matt, I got a question for you, man. Do you remember? Um, I mean, it, it, I kind of mean to cut you off. It just popped in my head. Matter of fact, I wait till you get done before I ask you. Oh no, go ahead. I was pretty much done. I was about oh. to ask Matt to go. It was a comic, dog. I think it was an X Men comic. It was Kitty. It was a. It was like Christmas. I think it was called The Night Before Christmas. But I don't know where she was at in space on a spaceship or some, and it was a fucking alien on a spaceship with her dog. Um, like I said, I'm a little older. My my older brother, my oldest brother was in the comics, so this is I used to just go through his stash or whatever like that, right? And uh, I gotta look this comic up, dog. But I just remember her walking around. This this alien was stalking her dog. It might even been a xenomorph if I'm thinking about it. Nah, I, I'm not really sure. But I know it was probably an alien. A brood. If it was a xenomorph, it's probably a brood. And it was like it was like you know stalking her, or whatever. She knew it was there. And the one scene I remember as a kid, I just remember it clawing at her, right? But it went through her. She still felt it because she didn't expect the phase. But the, his hand phased through her. Like I'm gonna try to find that shit, dog. Now that I'm thinking about it, man. But that was a deep ass comic, dog. Was it the brood? I don't, I'm gonna look it up. I'm 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 gonna look it up because now uh, us talking about it, I just want to look this up. Like I was a kid when I saw this, so this comic gotta be probably from the '80s. I just remember. I think it was an X Men comic too, so I'm gonna check it out. Shout outs to the '80s. Only thing wrong with the '80s is that it wasn't the '90s, man. <laughs> man, oh, what a time! What a time to be alive. The '80s and '90s. Man. <laughs> Let me tell you. And another comics I remember the X Men. We talking about Dark Phoenix earlier, where she fucking flipped the switch and she crushed the X Men sign, and some and behind her some of the X Men was dead or whatever. And the issue after that nigga, the X Men logo was like it was repaired, but it was cracked. That shit was dog, <laughs> dog. Don't get me started, man. But uh, <laughs> go ahead, man. Go ahead, Matt. Were you now that you see what they're capable of? Where would you like to see them take it? What storylines are you interested in seeing through? Which which comics or stories from the comics you want to bring back? Which characters? All right, so three. One, I want them to explain why Bishop is there. <laughs> um, uh, I yes. that be interesting. That, yeah. that was like driving me crazy. He had like one or two lines throughout both both of them, and it was kind of like the standard. Damn, like okay, I, I kind of want them to. Explain why are you still here? Um, so yeah, I stand corrected. Thing. I said what? everybody had a personality. You damn bishop. No, bishop had, had no goddamn personality. No, 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 not, not yeah, at all. Oh, you know what's crazy, Matt? I forgot he was there. Yeah, go to zero. <laughs> and they gave him a title dog. card. He got a title card. He even got shot in the back. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and he got. He was the one that got fucked up the most because nigga like, took his powers away and then shot him. He's like, absorb that, you little bitch ass nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah. Super <laughs> useless, man. It's like every time, I'm like, oh, hey, Bishop, uh, was there two master molds? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, gee, great. <laughs> you know, like, Bishop, what, what does this mean? Magneto <laughs> 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 takes over the X Men. Bishop, how'd that turn out? Was he lying? Who? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up? Uh, hey, hey, man, he like Tyrese. He, 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 he like Tyrese. Wasn't that one of his lines? Yeah. Wasn't that one of his lines? He's like, not even I saw that coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like this yeah. catchphrase. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are you good for? The only reason we got you here is to tell us what's coming, man. The fuck That's are crazy. you here for, man? <laughs> niggas niggas should have brought an almanac back with him, nigga. Fuck out. <laughs> Get some money on the copies. Hey, you talking about Gray's Almanac, nigga, the red yeah, color? Yeah, yeah, man. Hell. That and a dust buster, man. Bring it on back, man. Well, shit. Make yourself useful. <laughs> so, that's what was the other one. two, Matt? Um, uh, I want to see, I'm probably not going to do it, but I want to see them tackle Onslaught. So as like as, as like Professor X is coming back, I want to see, because it would be the whole reveal, because Professor X wouldn't be there. 
and it'd be perfect. Like, oh, they're fighting Onslaught. Who is this? And that would be a great reveal to have that as uh, Onslaught. Don't know if they're going to do it, but um, I would like to see Onslaught. And uh, number three, man, and this might be divisive, but this is what I, I do not want to see. For the love of God, I do not want to see Deadpool. I do not want to see him. I don't want to, I don't want him in it. I don't want them to tackle him. I don't want anything to do with Deadpool. As soon as I see Deadpool, I'm tapping. I, I have a feeling they're going to cram him in here, but like animated Deadpool is it's, I can't do it, man. I, I hate it. So that's what I do not want them to do. And why do you hate him so much? To, um, it's because Deadpool is really reliant on the writers. Like Ryan Reynolds, great, and he like like does a lot of improv, and he's a funny person. Awesome comics, hit or miss, a lot of good stuff. But every time I see Deadpool in an animated series, man, like it's corny, the corny, it's corny stuff. Thank you. It's corny. So corny. No, I got you, man, because I've seen it before. And the thing mm. is, is like, and, and this means no offense, especially like Goose and Air and like the and the Deadpool, like hella fans. But like when I see when I see certain people out in the field they just keep praising and praising deadpool right and i understand ryan reynolds is great and the com and the, and the movies have been great but like you are right i've watched him do like spider-man i've watched most of the spider-man animated series disney has ever put out um i've watched like the marvel adventures um mightiest heroes you ain't that like in the x-men nigga you ain't wolverine and x-men certified nigga okay <laughs> Definitely. Uh, fuck Wolverine and X-Men. <laughs> well, that's how niggas feel. Oh. <laughs> this nigga's crazy out his head. Oh, that was oh, number dude. two. For years, <laughs> that was number two. But, but the, number but five, the, nigga. <laughs> but the point I'm getting at is, is Matt is right. Every time I've seen an animated version of Deadpool, there's Ryan Reynolds is not there doing the writing. The uh, those other people that are there that normally do like can do like improv. It just comes off fucking corny mm -hmm. and it comes off hella stupid. It looks and it just and it, I don't know, it just, it just hangs up time inside the show and doesn't progress plot at, like, all. Like, anytime it comes, it's like a goof-ass episode. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you imagine, yeah, like, kind of like in it, this one, like, breaking the fourth wall and, like, doing pop culture reference. Like, it, I just don't want any it's of that, It's being dated when they do it in animation. Um, mm -hmm. it, the, the video game kind of got it right. Um, and Ryan Reynolds gets it all the way right for the most part. But yeah, when you have them in animation, for the most part, for some reason, it just seems dated. And I guess for as long as it takes to develop animation, you know what I'm saying? All that shit is, yeah. So I, I get Yeah, I, I can see that. I can yeah. see that. Matt, good, good on you, Matt. Good on you, bro. Um, Sean, sir? Yes, sir. Our fearless follower. <laughs> By the way, uh, Sean, I just, I just uh, sent you that. I found that comic I was talking about. Oh, shit. I, I'm, uh, I'll check it out. But um, yeah. So one of the last comics that I read before I stopped reading comics, right, was uh, X Men '92, right, and that was mm, uh, ironic. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> um, but it it had the the same artwork and the same feel as the original an animated series, but it didn't really progress the story. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like more like a love letter. To the to the original uh, animated series run, um, I, I had that. Shit. I bought that shit from the school elastics, nigga. <laughs> That's it true, had like true. the same the same art style and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I bought that yeah. shit back in the day from the book fair, nigga. Yes, sir. And so for me, listen, man, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, one thing the original run of X Men the animated series was good at. Um, which I hope they can translate into this is giving me storylines that I don't give a fuck about and making them interesting, right? And so it's a lot of that. It's a lot of I want motherfuckers to still have side quests and side missions and break off on their own. I want them to have independent lives and do their own shit and just you know link back up and everything ain't gotta be. Uh, the group, the group got to go over here. Not a group got to go over here. Like the Savage Lands, I would have never gave a fuck about that shit. And X Men animated series made me give a fuck about it. Fucking the hell, still don't, still don't. <laughs> the fucking hell, I'll, I'll, I'll watch them in that Savage Lands. Yeah, the the Hellfire Club couldn't care less. 
Nigga, I will watch a couple X Men animated series. I will watch a couple uh, episodes. But difference that. is though, Sean. Um, back then, you know, they have like I said, they have more episodes in a yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just they saying, may only have like eight. You know, with this one, so right, right. But whatever they come up with, as long as it's as long as the writing good, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, hey, hey, Hollywood, as long as the writing good, I'm here for you. I'm I want to see. I want to see Cyclops uh, and Emma Frost. Oh, <laughs> bro, nigga, you already you got Madeline Pryor, you got Jean Grey. Now you want Emma Frost? That nigga head gonna explode, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. You gonna be like, I think I like Emma now. <laughs> you he gonna like see? whoever's standing there talking to him, man. I'm yep. in love with you. <laughs> and that's when Wolverine gonna slide right in, huh? Hey Next man, week. Wolverine had it in the movie when when uh Mystique came in as Jean Grey. <laughs> hey man, <laughs> hey, if I had to pick one bitch to be with, listen, Mystique. <laughs> every night was gonna be good. Every night yeah. gonna be an adventure. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I tell the one time she made a mistake and turned into a real self, and she 150 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it worked for them niggas on uh, what you call it? Uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. <laughs> I was about to say, but shit, yeah. the red how, queen. How old is yeah. That nigga been that nigga been the same age in every movie. Yeah, so. he keep himself fit though. He keep himself fit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, that Pilates. Mystique let her real let her real self go, man. He was all the fucking <laughs> fake muscles she got. Oh, <laughs> um, but no, nah, man. As long as they, long as they do, and it seemed like they off on the right start, man. As long as they keep that shit up. I don't care where you take it. I would like to see, like you say, Omega Red. I would like to see some other stuff, man. But do y'all are y'all are y'all do y'all think? I mean, y'all say y'all want to keep the main thing, the main thing. But a lot of people are, are sad that Colossus ain't a part of the group. I mean, like even with the original run, they had they they ran into him for a brief period. Like they yeah, ran. He was always a guest appearance, man. Yeah. And I, Y'all keep mentioning Omega Red. I he he was always like one of my favorite like bad guys, dude. Yeah, they never did him anywhere else decent than the damn, nope. than the cartoon. The cartoons, man. Exactly. Now let me ask y'all this: Do y'all want the return of X Factor? Yes. All that. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Crossovers. I would love to see them to delve deeper into what. What gives? Why can't I hurt you, bro? Why can't I hurt you? <laughs> then they had to just duff each other and shit because they couldn't hurt each other's powers. I want to see Havoc and Cyclops yeah. figure out why. And they never got into that. Star yeah. Jammers, figure out why. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They. I don't know if they just ran out of time or what, but them niggas never delved into why that was happening. Let me tell you like, what. Probably right around the time they switched writers. Could have been probably. that too. Yeah. But Star they just Jam give you samples of everything, man. Like the only stuff they really hit you with was like Days of Future Past, uh, the, the Phoenix Saga. Everything else they was just hidden. They was hidden and they was moving. They was hidden and they was moving on to something else. Let me so, tell you who I don't want to see. And you leave that? them niggas right in the bowels of uh, motherfucking frostbitten Canada, nigga. I do not want to see Alpha Flight, nigga. Nah, uh, bring them <laughs> on. Bring them on, man. Nah, nigga. I don't need to see Wolverine call out everybody's name as he punches them in the face. <laughs> Puck, you're getting slower, Puck. Windigo. Ah, you son of a bitch. You got to be quicker uh, than that, Starlight. Uh, man. I want him quicker than that. <laughs> I want him to leave and go to the damn, uh, go to Canada. The no, link no, up I with him just to fight him. You feel me? <laughs> come, back to, come back to the squad, Wolverine, and maybe I'll stop beating your ass. <laughs> No, no, no snow adventures from Wolverine. Yeah, nah, I, yeah, nah. Don't, I don't want to see need, that nigga go to the Inuit tribe. I need, nigga. I the, I need hey. the Alaskan adventure. I nah, need to nah, the border hey. into Canada. I, hey, and I, I, I can't wait Jesus. till you see the opening scene of like Wolverine walking through the snow and you be like, fuck no, bitch. I know I, he's not a kid. Listen, I want that first link up with Saber Tooth. I need that. Like oh, nah. Need it's going to be Wolverine's birthday. That nigga going to get ghost in the Sahara. In the Sahara Desert. Nigga, every Wolverine birthday. was... Nigga, fucking... I heard you was having a good time, bitch. I'm here to hell. Saber Tooth you know on though? your ass. But you know what, though? Either it's a good sign or a bad sign. And what I'm talking about is, is we see more f- why he's fighting inside of the court. He turns into Yurikul. He turns into the year. We get the Yuriko he, like he doing he, some good ass fucking callbacks, though. Yeah, we, we, the that's what I'm saying. He, I just want to say he, he turned he, into he, Angel. 
he turned into all of them. Either that's right. a good thing that we're gonna see them later, or it's a bad thing we're not gonna see them. Like, yeah, that's like, what I was. Hey. That's what I was gonna ask Matt. So when when uh morph change, he gets somebody's powers too. Like he got the blob powers. I I, I, I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back in the day, he did. Yeah, he's not supposed to, but um, yeah. okay. Yeah, he he ended up getting their powers, and he ended up getting like accessories, like um, uh, Psylocke swords. I was like, what part of his body is that? <laughs> Hello, like, thank you. Yeah, you know, I was I'm like, like seriously? the wings. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. This is like morph on yeah. crack, man. Like, so that is morph, morph power. Go that ahead. is morph. Okay, so morph. All right, so brief history, right? For the un, you know, me initiate. <laughs> morph was made up for the TV show, right? And um, he was got created. Based on somebody. Was he, he based, based on? on somebody? Yeah, he's based on Changeling. Oh, yeah, change, change, yeah okay. which was a Changeling. Yeah, yeah. But so they made him up because they needed somebody to die real quick. So they wanted you to like him a lot, right? So he's funny. Wolverine liked him. He dies. Cool. And uh, they used that as fodder for why Wolverine hates Cyclops, so on and so forth. Worked perfectly as a, 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 a literary device. Yeah. In the comic books, there's this run called the exiles that i was really into for a while then i they switched writers and it was trash but um they were people they pulled out of universes that were about to end in order to correct other universes and shit so you would have alternate universes versions of these different people so like spider-man it was like spider-man if he had like deadpools like killer instinct type of shit um and just all these different type of versions and in this version morph was the one you see with this silver face right that's the first time I haven't seen him. And that morph could morph into get the power. So if he changed into somebody strong, he was strong. If he changed into this person, he could do the things. So I'm thinking they just made him that morph. I mean, cause Yeah, because I mean the Otherwise the morph, he's useless, right? Yeah. If I could change if I could change into Anderson Silver, but I can't fight, then what the fuck <laughs> is the, what the fuck was the point of the day? <laughs> right. Sure. Talking a high register and fuck uh, excuse me, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> But that's the thing. Like like Ox said, back in the day, um, Morph was just meant to die, right? So he had no purpose and he had no real power because he had no real meaning. So, but now for him to be a credible part of the team, because hell, the Morph from the old uh, animated series, he just was running around with the Glock shooting niggas like that and, and flying off in the plane. They could laughing and flying off in the plane. But so he got to be able to add something of note this time. So I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at them. Well, it's just Mystique, right? Mystique exactly. is the international woman of mystery and shit. And the person exactly. got to be the same weight and size or comparable. <laughs> and shit. That's useless. Like, let the nigga yeah. have it. Like, change it. So, so why can't he turn to Apocalypse every episode then? Yeah, see, that's too much. That's yeah. too much. Maybe that's, like, maybe he starts, he starts struggling like, uh, Gene anytime she does anything and shit. I was gonna say so like I said he even had mystiques like her her you know phasers those are uh, proton you know those are uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah yeah but I mean I'm cool with him doing things in a small spurt I'm cool with him doing things like real smooth real quick and then changing back like if but yeah if he's fucking you know juggernaut for three hours three episodes or some shit and I, I ain't rocking. I ain't rocking. So yeah, I like he. I mean, that beg that. It's better if we don't think about it, money. <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah. they should do? Close they should the kill box. that nigga again. <laughs> <laughs> I liked you better dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kill that nigga on the fifth episode, dude. and not even like in a dramatic way. Like the nigga just fall out the plane and shit. <laughs> The door was the door was made by fucking Boeing planes and shit. Nigga just changed the angel, all nigga. angel. I changed the angel already for the weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the rule. He only could do he changed it to you once per year and shit. Man. Nigga couldn't think of any other fucking flying mutants and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Well, gentlemen. <laughs> That there, that there's a certified crack, my nigga. That's that good. That's a good show, man. I can't wait to see the rest of it. Uh, Ghetto dope. Ghetto dope, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> so we we all nine out of ten, eight out of ten. We're, we were there with it. The yeah, right episode. now. Yeah, I'm there, man. I'm nine out. I'm, I'm, I'm nine out of ten, man. I'm nine out of ten. Whoever gave it a nine out of ten, I'm with nine out of ten, man. I can't. Yeah. Don't fuck. Who's gonna be the first gay character on the screen? Who's gonna openly gay? Morph. 
Morph. Can I say I'm already uncomfortable without him in uh Wolverine wrestling? But I ain't want to put that out there. <laughs> I'm not. Hey, 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 he was smiling a little too hard. Yeah, hey, nigga. Smiling a little too hard, bro. Why are you just changing the saber tooth to wrestle a nigga, dog? At, in the middle of the night, bro. Yeah, in the, the middle of the night, night nigga. And I ain't, like, the, I ain't like Wolverine's chuckle either, nigga. Like, he's yeah. really <laughs> supposed to get mad, nigga. So as you see, it's supposed to be on site. Yeah, I don't right, care if it's a change or not, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, nigga, uh, of all, all the right. people, nigga, how dare you, nigga? Okay, so the one thing that bothered me, man, you know, the one thing that bothered me was when Jubilee was saying, oh, Cyclops and Gene leave, then, like, that's it. That's the original team, and Wild Beast is right there. And I, was like, Damn. I was like, God. See, rep this uh, young niggas that don't do their knowledge, my nigga. <laughs> yeah. How you how you old and you still young, my nigga? You know He's looking saying? at the pictures. He's like, I don't see no beast. This nigga got no <laughs> hair on him. Man. I just see a fat nigga. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, no, nah, listen. I, I I I I'm you know I I think one of my things that I said I was looking for was for Beast to say some smart shit, and I think he quoted Mark Twain once. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna rock with it. I'm gonna rock with it. I'm cool with him. I'm cool with him. Nah, he got to quote niggas I ain't never heard of. Man. I know I'm a little older. <laughs> <laughs> so I probably heard of more niggas now. But nigga, I, I knew Mark Twain back then. Nigga, like, come on, man. <laughs> Call one of the, the 72 uh, unnamed characters on Oppenheimer, nigga. Come on, man. <laughs> the fuck we doing here, nigga? How did fucking Oppenheimer fit more fucking scientists on screen than Beast could quote, nigga? Nah, I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit, nigga. I know Dostoyevsky got more than one quote. Nigga. Oh, come shit. Hey, you gotta close. Beach you gotta close really more just a piece Crane, dog. That motherfucker is Fraser Crane, just blue man. That's, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what he is in the, in the cinematic universe. Yeah, How did y'all feel about this nigga rewiring the Sentinel and fucking controlling him? Like, you know, okay, that was goofy, but that that's fine. The part oh. that bothered me was him flipping the Sentinel because he doesn't have super strength. He took the hey. Sentinel by the toe and flipped it ah, like one inch. That's right. With one arm. One arm. One arm. I was like, yo, get out of here. He is no he, he's stronger. stronger. Like, if you look so, up his stats, nigga, he could probably lift press strong. 100. It ton, is bro. strong, but somebody but else like, did something. I'm trying to think, was that it? Somebody else did something to it. I know um, Roll gave the motherfucker RKO, but that is both. <laughs> gave the motherfucker RKO out of nowhere, but we'll let that slide. Nah, he ankle picked the shit out that motherfucker sent to him, nigga, <clears> with <throat> one arm. One arm he did. So... Maybe maybe we maybe the sentinel is made of like uh fucking lighter parts or shit. Maybe it's like an eco-friendly sentinel or shit. So yeah, eco-friendly. For the environment. Plastic, bro. Yeah. Like from the movie and shit. Yeah. So that <laughs> but that because that nigga can't one arm. I don't even think rogue is one arm and sentinels and shit. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. So. Oh, did they do the story of Rogue in the uh, original X-Men? Run? Yeah, um, yeah. Of uh, her being a oh. big uh, daughter? Yeah. Uh, Is that made yeah. obvious? Yeah, they say, yeah. Okay. It was I because when, um, I forgot, this was like further in where it was like two, um, two Remy's. That's when the whole thing came up with uh, Mystique and shit. Well, Marvel? yeah, no, they also did the whole um, Captain Marvel. She was in the hospital because, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they did they all that. killed her, yeah. 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 Did she eventually come out the come out the coma? Yeah, she did. No, she was. Yeah. No, it was, it was her. Yeah, uh, astral projection version. Oh, of her. okay, okay. Because okay. she was, she, she just kept screaming, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, yeah. them bitches were screaming. <laughs> damn, so, damn, damn my <laughs> fucking scream, no, no, no. Yeah, they scream. Ah, the bitches in my head. Yeah. Yo, get out of my head. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, that's classic, where Rogue would be like flying. And then she, she like, dies, just, yeah. just lose her flight power to just kind of like fall out the sky type shit. Yep. Do y'all want to see the juggernaut? Damn. Oh, that's you got good. to, that's right? A good, uh, uh, that's you a got good. to. Fuck. But I'm juggernaut it out, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie to without, you. Um, without um, Charles, though? Huh? No, I'm saying like I, I was. They never even. They never made that connection in there. No, they never. Show. Not in the, um. Not in there. Not in there. I thought they series. did that. They were brought yeah. up. I thought they did it in the TV show. No, they did it they, in they, Pride they, of the X Men, but I don't think they did it in the original. They did it. No, no, they, they, they did it. Brother, the they did. What yeah, it was. It was in the Return of the Juggernauts. Um, he was always doing. You were the favorites, and then you saw flashback right. to him. He's yeah. Oh to damn! Of it. Yeah. Wait a second. You what right, Matt? Oh, yeah, I remember that. 
Because he, I just remember them squabbing with him, and then I remember the um that time that the little geek ass nigga became. No, because uh, that's the same episode, but, but, but that's oh, when okay, you learn, okay. But that's when you learn that like his helmet is one of the reasons why he wears it to kind of stop Charles from fucking with him. Yeah, like yeah that. and then he, and, he kept calling him little brother or some shit. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? Because in the first episode they didn't mention it, but then the second time he showed up, they delved yeah. into it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in the immortal words of the pod crack, we say it once every episode. Pod crack out. Pod crack. Pod crack. Right. Real guys talking that real shit. New episodes weekly. Rate, comment, and subscribe.